All right, welcome to Bl Bloodboards. Gatewalker Session 22. Uh, we are, uh, yeah, Session 22. Uh, Marcus is not here today. He might show up later, who knows. But we're going to give a really good recap for um, for Serial and also bonus because they were missing half of the session. Uh, I'm going to ask the new guy. So I'm going <laughs> to test him to see if he was paying attention. Solid recap of last session, Eric, for a hero point. Go. Solid recap. Oh, boy, Pablo. Oh, wait. Shit. Pause. Sorry about that. Uh, <coughs> Eric, <coughs> give me a recap for a hero point. Go. Right. So, last week, uh, everybody was in the town of Ad Aden Adene? Agede. Agede. Everybody was in the town of Egede after having sailed there on apparently a undead bone ship or something of the sort. Uh, Russell wasn't there for that part, obviously. She was tearing her way through town on uh, Ball, the uh, living root chair, uh, you know, doing wheelies, burnouts, busting fences, generally making a mess of things because, you know, towns are... Uh, I wouldn't say that she's completely new to the uh, outside world, but you know, she still uh, lacks a little bit of etiquette. I'm going to so interrupt missed... you real quick before that. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Helmy and Jordan had a really close one-on-one -on -one, uh, role play moment, which doesn't usually happen. And also um, they did a week of downtime as well. So did everybody else theoretically. Yes. Before you, in theory, in. I did a week of downtime. <laughs> in time. theory. Yeah. You, you quit fail. So you went to jail and uh, Jordan. Anyway, there were weird people everywhere. You just didn't notice it because you both rolled badly on your checks. But yeah, there were weird people <laughs> everywhere. And then go ahead, Russell, continue. Well, speaking of weird people, uh, when Russell uh, burned up into the center of town with her uh, pal, Rudy, who is uh, grumpy and uh, is, uh, you know, is in a really bad mood today. I don't think he's going to talk at all. Uh, the town guards rolled up and uh, were understandably a bit miffed at the state of things. Uh, Russell was more confused than anything, but, uh, you know, there was some back and forth, a bit of arguing, and then uh, the guards immediately declared uh, Russell and uh, unfortunate compatriots as being uh, damned and evil and told us to fight their evil menace that they keep inside of a box. Uh, <laughs> and so we did. Uh, and were immediately worshipped as gods. Which is an interesting 360. Uh, and it also means that Russell didn't have to pay for the damage. So it's good. Uh, Godhood thus attained. Uh, we spent the rest of the day uh, shopping. And, and you bribed the caravan seven. guard to not stay a week. You made him, you had him leave early. Yes. Give or right, take. Right. Russell was a bit confused about that one, but apparently we're going to, we're going to roll up out of here pretty quick. So the session starts <clears throat> as, let me drag everybody out. It's just, Nathnelma's going to, or not, no, not Nathnelma, fucking blood lords again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Natalie's going to stick around. She likes being worshipped as a god. Maybe that's not a good sign, but you know. She's going to hug the party and say her goodbyes. I'll miss you all. Come back for me. I might. You know, we'll be fine to see you. Um, Believe me, you'll get sick of being worshipped. Uh, maybe. It feels nice for now. Yes. Um, Just remember what you said, you know, about um, being nice to them and stuff. It's uh, yeah, of course. important you, that you... you, you, you... I'm, right. I'll miss you, Natalie, but I'm going to be honest. I ain't never coming back to this town unless it's to raid it and burn it to the ground. You've taught me valuable <laughs> lessons on event about being nice to people. And help me. Yeah. Uh, I don't recommend you do that. We're supposed to be nice now, right? Good uh, people. We're supposed to be nice to people who are generally good. And these people threw me right into prison and made us fight a weird ooze in a box that they worshipped as a god. Uh, so it's so it like a bad day. Week. I'm sorry. It's just, just turn this into a horse town, Natalie, and uh, you'll never see Helmy again. It's fine. Mm. <laughs> mm. Speaking of horses, you guys are 
about to jump on the carriage. There's a little caravan ready oh, to man. go out of town, being pulled by horses. Use, like, elk or reindeer. There was this trading ship once that came from Tianjin. They had these things called yaks. Those look cool. I can see why people like yaks. Yeah. Why do we have to get on this janky ass horse? Even even donkeys would have better. Why are we getting on this caravan? I sorry, sorry. What's been going on? A little confused. Uh, I, I, you took some money, right? Some money to make things go faster, faster, go faster to to where? What are we doing? Sakuachi. Um, remind me, Meta. Did you mean Sakuachi last week or no? Uh, uh, a little bit. Okay. Sakuachi. Yeah, I think I think you did meet her. We'll turn to you, Russell, and say, so we're going to be headed towards the west so I can find a living god to sacrifice so that we could stop a great evil from erupting from the earth. The more she says it, the more she sounds less confident in what she's saying. <laughs> that is... An interesting plan. I didn't know you could sacrifice a god. I didn't either. Neither did we. <laughs> uh, we'll figure it out as we go along. But um, uh, but, me uh, not meta. But she she will kind of subtly remind you the letter you got from Doctor Rulson, uh, or you might remember it yourself, where Rulson has told you, right, to uh follow up on Sakuachi's thing. I mean, your employer agrees, right? So... Did he, he agree? Did, he did say something about uh, a Sasquatch or something. Yeah. Uh, no, that's you, no, right? No, no, no. I'm Sakuachi. Uh, do me a favor. Um, where's the letter? Because I need. I think Cyril needs to read it. Uh, well, I have the letter. <laughs> Hold on. Cyril, you guys got a letter yep. from Dr. Riddleson. That's an important recap of last It's session. in uh, Sunday Notes. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's, it's in Sunday Notes, yeah. You got an important yeah, letter already. from Dr. Riddleson last week that, uh, that you know, and, and also Russell um, came with that letter and met Dr. Riddleson at the start of the session, you know. So at yep. the end of the day, it's it's all kosher, right, guys? Guys? Anyway. I mean, <clears throat> not to judge a book by its cover, but um, like Riddleson had like roots growing in his head. I, I think they were supposed to be veins, but they were sort of purple looking and he, he he looked like he had a lot of problems, you know, himself. And, and that uh, that assistant of his did try and make us steal from a town. Are um, a problem for other people? Or... No, no, no. I just, you know, uh, normally humans don't have them growing in their head. Oh. I don't even think, think plants have them growing in their head. Usually it's like, you know, the bottom part. I've never looked, actually. Oh. Oh well. Um, well, plants don't usually have heads, so. Hmm. Uh, cabbages do, but yes, no, no, not normally, I suppose. Okay. So. I just I, I hmm. This we're gonna sacrifice a god. That's that's very interesting. I don't How think we should know. I don't know. With the gate uh, things? Uh, Onovan's going to try and, like, sort of nudge Russell to the side to, like, speak away from Sakawachi. Uh, if yeah. that's you guys are still hanging out. Casual. Otherwise, the caravan is getting packed. Yeah. So, don't worry. Uh, really quickly, let me... Can you can you hold that thought for one second, bonus? Is that doable? Yes. Okay. I'm going to pause real quick. All right. Go ahead, bonus. Uh, so, uh, Russell... Um, I don't think we're entirely sold on the plan of, you know, sacrificing a god. Um, it seems a bit, you know, well, just like a bad idea. And Rittleson kind of brought us together, which is a great thing because, you know, we've all made friends and stuff. And we all had these um, little marks on our on our necks and stuff like that. But um, do, you, do you have one of those marks again? I forget. Yeah, the, yeah, and then... yeah, we both got one. Oh, right, yes. Um, and... Uh, that was good, and we thought, well, why not, you know, seek this through? But then uh, Rittleson's assistant tried to make us steal something from a town. Uh, it was like to touch or, like, charge or use the essence or something of these gates that they didn't want us to go near, which turned out to be a fake thing anyway. 
um, and then we got lost in the Feywild, and then we got sent to another planet, and then we're back here now, and Sakawachi's grandmother had a vision that <clears throat> has been handed down to Sakawachi, and it sort of looks like this nightmare person that we've all seen, but Sakawachi says now it's not that person, but still wants us to maybe sacrifice a god, and now Rittleson somehow has decided to contact us via letter, even though um, we had no contact with them beforehand. So how how Rittleson even knew where we were, it's all just a bit suspicious, you know. We're more just following along with it until we work out what's actually going on here. Um, but if it helps, um, uh, 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 Islos is, uh, you know, from Sarkoris, and that's where we're going anyway. Um, she's an ancient uh, nature, nature spirit, so that's nice. Um, wow. Yeah. There are other planets? <laughs> Yeah, no, there are, and they have even weirder like plants than than you know, um, what the like planets? here. That's yeah, amazing. Has a okay, lot of so, but but we're gonna go we're gonna go on this uh, wagon thing anyway, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If that's okay with you and Ruti, are you right, Ruti, with that? Uh, uh, first, uh, what's a planet? A, a big ball in the sky, but not a star. No, that's the sun, right? Yes, but uh, that's a star. Um, it's like a, it's like another bit of rock. A oh, rock in fire. It's like me. And sure. Other plants grow there. <laughs> Hopefully, less fire. Um, you know, in, in the nicest way possible. Uh, okay. Yeah. We went to an undead planet too. That was pretty bad. No plants grew there. Just wraiths. It did kind of suck there. That, but that was horrible, yeah. So we're going to go on the caravan, but, but we're yes. not going to sacrifice a god. Well, uh, we're, not, not, we're not not, not going to sacrifice a god. We're, we're sort of just going on the caravan, and then we're leaving everything up to, you know, fate, as it were. Unless it's stolen. Oh, true, yes. Okay. Well, I don't understand any of that, but it sounds exciting. So, you know, let, let's try it. Yeah, and, and Sarkoris has lots of, um, like, nature spirits and stuff. So, um, unless you like you, might, you know, make lots of friends. What do they you also think got a fair number you know of that you can... demons. Oh, yeah, we don't talk about that, though. <laughs> we defeated the right. It's, it's all fine now. Did you know you can sacrifice gods, Rudy? Yeah, that sounds strange. I mean, I don't know. Those people seem they don't know what to do. I mean, sounds fun. Let's stick together. <laughs> Takuachi, um, at this point, is on the caravan with the rest of her friends. Uh, as a caravan driver, a uh, halfling named Etik Longwheel. They will, all right, hop on up. Y'all were in a hurry, so let's go. And Oh, right, yes. I'm assuming you guys jump on the caravan and start <laughs> traveling to the edge of town until... Oh, no. The edge of town is marked by a large crowd. Uh-oh. The Chosen! Don't leave us! Please. Please stay. Let me just touch you a little bit. Just your shoulder. Just give us a lock can of I your hair. Them? You can attempt to roll me an intimidation check by clicking this button. That would be uh that would be ideal. Maybe not burn them, you know, but <laughs> <laughs> I look I look to her, so I say can I burn them? Um well they were kind of nice to us. It oh, they gave, actually. I, oh, sorry, go on. I agree. They gave us food, there, right? right? Yeah, yeah. And I and I got this really neat belt and this armor that's made of metal, I think. Oh, we, no, we're not actually the, the heroes that you think we are. Um, we're being so inspired by them that we're a traveling troop and we're going to take... Uh, we're going to take word of the heroes out to all of the other places around and get more people here so that more people can adore, adore the heroes and uh, bring lots of worship. Roll me a deception. 
Okay. And uh, Ruti try try to grow. Oh, amazing! Oh, I'm using a hero for it. Amazing, Rudy. Your attempt to scare the the uh, townspeople just gets him more fanatical. Oh, just a touch of your fire, Mister. And uh, Onovan, no, stay here, stay oh here. My God. Do not leave. The crowd gets larger <sighs> and larger, swelling up. <clears throat> As they will, uh, uh, as we're gonna burn them. The uh, the horses start getting extremely nervous. Um, you have one last chance to for somebody to roll me a nature check, otherwise they're gonna start bolting and just start running over people. Uh, I can try. I think I'm thinking. And is Russell again? I have a plus twelve. Russell will stand up proud on top okay, of them. ball and say, this will help. "Your God says." Stay there. <laughs> Let's roll those checks. Roll me a nature cereal and roll me a yep. diplomacy, uh, Russell. DC 22 on both. Russell has no oh, we're doing great right. today. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this is a winner today. That's, it's, uh, yeah, so, yeah, like four failures in a row. The horses will bolt as the crowd, the crowd's ecstatic uh, chants and... Uh, Worship turns to screams and bloodshed as the horses, nervous, will just start running over people. <laughs> ah! No! Ah! No! Okay, uh... well, this, this is working. <laughs> yes. Gosh, their screams were really cut off short there. It's like they reached a gate or something and then they just got <laughs> completely cancelled. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. As multiple people get trampled by horses, people in pain people screaming there's blood everywhere was that a kid no no stop horse anyway there is uh there is a hell is this fun this is fun first time you see it the hell is having a full-scale panic attack at this point because this is exactly what she expected whenever horses were involved uh can i spend a three action level three heal to try and like burst heal people as we damage them go ahead and burn a spell slot Sure. Uh, Onovan, the physical wounds are healed. Uh, did it work? Oh, work. Oh, you're smiling. Oh, I like that. I like that picture of yours. Hold on, let me screenshot you. <laughs> I'll, I'll just PM it to bonus. Bonus? Hello. You're frozen. <laughs> I said <laughs> you screenshot. Picture. Oh, is he is he still frozen? There we go. That's what you look like, a know. smiley guy. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. Um, God, I hate that. That's what you look like. Frozen with me. Anyway, the physical scars may be healed, but the trauma you inflicted on the town's folks will forever remain. But I'm sure no one cares, right? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but we we inflicted. <laughs> you you there's like four failures on well yeah they did do it to themselves sure enjoy it. but does that also heal the last four hp that russell needed just put it in the freezer sure Sorry, you did yeah all right russell getting your hp there buddy all right and with that we set off still screaming in the background more panic and less wounded screaming but of course the halfling just oh my goodness oh my goodness huh. please don't Report me. Wow, that was exciting. Uh, do not trust these horses. I do not like these horses. I want off of this caravan. Okay, can you pretend these are real horses, guys? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we were we were scared. <laughs> are these also no. the horses that, that just killed fifteen people? Uh, serial no, please. Okay, please delete. <laughs> no, no, no. Do delete it. Yeah, yeah. It's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, just, it's just because that's what you froze on for me. I, I just, I just, I PM'd it to him. I know some people are self conscious, so you know, it's okay. No worries. No worries. <laughs> oh, you want me to delete it in our chat bonus just completely? <laughs> Everything. All right, yeah, all right. Fine. All right, all right. Fine. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anyway, this is the map, the map representing the caravan. Uh, take note of it, just for a little rich representation. But I'm going to go ahead and now explain what's going to happen. I took some time setting up this map. Get out of here, Riddleson. I took some time setting up this map, and I would like... Uh, Cass, are you done shopping? 
Uh, yeah, head, I bought head, the ring of the ram. Hit them back, please. Do not draw on the map, guys. Sorry, I. <laughs> All right. Uh, both explain to you in game, and I'll explain to you meta as well. This is a ten day journey to Canabras. All right. And that's just the first stop of your journey. You probably have to go to here, eventually. This is Yay. this is going to be a multi day trip, which I will intersperse with time to role play. Descriptions, pictures, random stuff, yada, yada. Yes? So, uh, and as you guys head out from a gate into the road, I'm going to go ahead and start giving you the first description as well as a picture that you're going to go ahead. And uh, I have multiple pictures. Let's start with number one. This is what you see on the way out. The caravan's journey from a gate Let me put some better music oh. on. Sorry. Where's my... Looks like North Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> the caravan's journey from Agate begins with the endless expanse of rolling plains under a slightly chilled sky. The distant horizon seems to blend with the waving grasses, creating an endless sea of, of well, not green, it would be, you know, it's winter, so whatever that is, yellow, that rustles in the cool breeze. Weathered stones and gnarled branches, uh, not gnarled trees sporadically break, break the landscape, while fleeting glimpses of wildlife dart through the underbrush. The soft creaking of wagon wheels and distant bird calls are the only sounds that punctuate the silence while the faint scent of earth and wildflowers is carried on the wind. The caravan departs. Uh, what time is it in the day? It's not 12 a.m. It'll be around 10 when you leave. And you guys continue onward for a few hours of journey. Uh, you are welcome to start to talk amongst yourselves if you'd like. And if you don't, we'll move on. I mean, honestly, the only reason I'm still okay with uh, keeping Sakawachi around and that lot is because, one, I, I still need the tips from uh, about Anuma's eyebrows and how he how he got them like that. And two, um, I just sort of think that, you know, with Sakawachi, if this is like a whole prophecy that's going to help their people and stuff, like, there's probably something important to it, right? Mostly, well, I'm then... just concerned for them. They seem pretty dumb and useless. I'm worried that yeah, if they we did all get them... captured. If we abandon them, we all know they're going to die. And there's usually yeah. a grain of truth in every folklore or legend. That's true. And, and like, on, on top of that as well, Dr. Rittleson, I mean, he talks about saying that uh, he's been keeping an ear to the ground after Fionara sent word that we disappeared and stuff. But how, how, seriously, how does he know that we'd been here? Probably has a network of informants, or some might call them spies. But what does that mean? You know, like, have you ever been spied on by your boss? That seems like a toxic relationship, you know? Well, I don't, not necessarily maybe spied on, but maybe looked after. Would you, you, please, right. to... Would you please tell us what the practical difference is there, Captain? Sure. Uh, so, like, at the Mages College, you know, we're we're told to go off on our pilgrimage, but they you know they still keep an eye on us. They still you know watch after us. Our 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 elders, you know, more for protection, not necessarily for you know. If we if we need help, we we have an avenue to ask for it, and per, perhaps you know Riddleson is giving us that. Granted. It would have been nice for him to tell us who to talk to, but yeah, if you, if they tell you you're going to do that, or you know, you ask for that and agree to that, then that's being looked after. If it's not, then I'm pretty sure it's just perverts. <laughs> well, I mean, it's like peeping Rittleston, Tom. Re peeping. There's some there's some pun in that name there. Well. I certainly didn't trust him when he said he was a doctor, but he didn't try to bleed me even once. No, I, you know, I, I, I try to, especially with doctors, I try to, you know, put it on face value, but uh, being, being like, you know, a physician myself and stuff, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure kind anymore. Of, different kind of doctor. Think of it more of a academic, not medical. Oh, right. So the kind like of the doctor kind you that... never ask for help. The kind that doesn't really do much. Mm, they look for the 
the, te the technological breakthroughs, like, you know, for instance, the wheel or the oh, domesticated I horse. Just... Well, one of those I ain't a big fan of, and the other one, frankly, it got built a long time ago and ain't been improved on much. I don't think horses were built. Uh, hey, but... <laughs> <laughs> Except but, for this uh... one. <laughs> But uh, I, I don't know. Uh, those kind of dogs are the same kind that you know would like classify different types of dragons and talk about the threat levels and stuff. Mm, pretty much, yeah. <laughs> All right. Okay. I don't know. We had to deal with a lot of uh, misidentification of things uh, in during the the crusade. So, I'm not less of a fan of that kind of person. But uh, you know. Kathy, um, you must have some idea about uh, these people. What's that, uh, Ruti? I don't know. Are those horses or two barrels? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever they are, they're untrustworthy. <clears throat> Look like horses to me. Hey, they, they've got so, the the right gait and everything. So we'll well, kind of I mean, up a little carved statuette of what appears to be Riddleson with a tree growing out of his head. <laughs> How do you know what Fiddleston looks like? Uh, I'm trying to remember. Kind of. Maybe. Is this what he looks like? Yes, I'm a little, that... a little older than that. Older. How do you make people look older? And more lines. Yeah. Wrinkles. Oh, but on the outside, not like trees with the lines on the inside. I hope you. I hope you don't get lines on the inside when you get older. When you're made out of meat, not bark. She'll just start like carving <clears> stripes <throat> all the way from head to toe down this Riddleson statue. Oh no! I sure hope you're not practicing voodoo inadvertently. That would be a really bad day for Riddleson right now. See, What's I try to keep do? up with my skincare regimen so that I don't end up looking like that. Oh, by the way, uh, you're like uh, a a lizard person, lizard. Uh, Rook we met the other day. No, I don't. I was uh, I was busy uh, playing songs. I think I'm a young cast. Uh, you know, I, I play songs. I'm pretty good at that. And you know, I'm I'm very very scary in uh, combat. Of course, you know, I got my claws and everything. You know, better be careful of those. And he's definitely not a witch. He's a witch. I'm not a witch, no. I'm a... <laughs> I sing old tales from my tribe. That have magical power. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, not a right, witch. Right, in, right in people's faces as well, which, you know, it's surprising seeing as how delicate and... Uh, it's because I'm so scary. Straight, when they I'm closed, are. they get more scared, you know. Hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're scary. Uh, yeah, that's not that's not nice Don't to say, say that out the one. Yeah, man, I'm gonna scare you. And come no, you start, like, you're, see now you started them off. Look at that, Rosie. You, you, you to be he's a lot scarier when he's got that frill of his out. Yeah, man, I'm really scary then. It's so pretty though that frill. It is rather fascinating. It's so no, it's no, it, it's scary. Not it frills your face so nicely though. It's it's. Scary! It's like a, it's like a big wow, you know, in your face, you know, you, you, you get like Christmas scared. Foliage I'm, in I'm, summer. I'm, cause I'm, you know, I'm get so much bigger, you know, you get scared. Yeah, like a peacock. Fast rolling no. diplomacy yeah. to convince <laughs> yourself that it's scary. <laughs> <laughs> there were lots of lizards back on our island, but none of them sang. So... Yeah, and I'm scary as fuck, man. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> See, my island was always too cold for most, uh, you know, of them reptiles and amphibious types. That's racist, man. Look at me. I got, I got like, winter clothes and everything, man. I can go everywhere. Can you explain to me what exactly winter clothes do to you if you're cold-blooded? Like, I mean, it ain't but, like you're getting any warmer within the clothes because you don't radiate no heat. No, but I, 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 I you know... It, you know, it, it allows me to absorb uh, sun better. Are you a plant? No, but I'm, 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 you know, I'm cold-blooded. 
I use. The sun to keep me warm. That's not a nice way to talk about yourself. Uh, how also, does... we'll kind of feel his skin. <laughs> it's... feel very cold. No, I'm using the sun to be warm, you know? I don't produce the heat myself. But, Wait, but so... it, how does covering up your skin from the sun allow the, sc- the sun to keep you warmer? <laughs> no, I just bought these clothes and they work, man, all right? I don't know. <laughs> oh, so it's magic. No, it's not. It's normal the clothing. They it has allow it me to. It, it, it absorbs the sun better. Do Do we really need to go into a course of thermodynamics? <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> they work, you know. Isn't that enough? And look, I got Is this that? shiny new ring as well. It's really cool. I got like a look, ram as long on as you're everything. comfortable, okay? Because you know that's that's all I want for you, Cass. Is for you to be nice and comfortable. That's pretty hard with these clothes on here in this uh, like forest. I'll be honest. How old are you, by the way? Me, I'm uh, twenty-one. Right. Yeah. No. In, in your old age, we want you to be quite comfortable, don't we? So don't don't stress yourself out too much. Not that old. I'm uh, young and spry, ready to uh, run out and scare people with my scary frill. How long do Eruxy live? Normal, I think. What What's normal for y'all? I think it's like three decades. No, that's only a, that's three a, decades. That's a, that's a, I think I think that's a bit long. And then, like like you know, <laughs> eight, long. You know that you know like around 120, you know ish. Oh right, you know normal length. I don't live that long. I plan on living forever. Yeah, yeah but you both weird, man. I don't know. I, I I just don't want to have the bleaching. It's horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But of course, you know. But it's just you know, weird to live forever, you know. Well, you could always move up to the land of the Lenorm Kings with me. There's a real good chance you get eaten by a fish well before you, you know, end up bleaching. And by a fish? Yeah. <laughs> but uh, how, why would I get eaten? Does that just happen on land? Like, you just... I don't want to say it never happens on land, but it is pretty rare. But still, I mean, what's the point of living on islands if you don't go out on a boat a whole bunch? Go out fishing, go out right. sailing. Go out visiting your neighbors sometimes. You know, maybe you got a friend of yours that's got a crush on that weird snow goblin boy, and you know, you need to sneak oh, out. Oh no, I've had that night. problem before. Yeah. Well, being confused Not with me a, personally. With a snow goblin? No, 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 no. Uh, he's, uh, there was a few goblin physicians and gnome physicians and stuff. It was a, a whole thing. I, I tried not to get involved with it myself. I, I always found relationships quite distracting. Ah, you're married to your work. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Except my work is Isos, and Isos is my daughter, so that's that's weird. And not in some some cultures. Some oh. cult- some cultures is weird. I hear down in the we... they got cultures made out of people that turn into giant spiders. But you're a half elf, so how would that work for you? Because if your mom and your dad were like brother and sister, then they'd be the. How could one be a human and one be a an elf? Oh, I didn't say it was normal in my culture. I was just saying in some cultures. Oh, right. Yeah, I mean, I don't need to put too fine a point on it, but if his parents were mother and si- were you know brother and sister, I'm pretty sure he'd be too dumb to do all that cool magic he does. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, genetics aside, yeah. Well, that was a nice ten days. Gosh, I'm glad we're here now. <laughs> the... <laughs> I'm actually going to give the party a hero point for good role playing, so I will award everybody a hero point. Uh, I will award yeah, it myself. It. Do not add it yourself. I'll award it for you. If you're at three, Sorry. if you're going to four for some reason, go back to three. Not a fourth hero point. I go. I, I go. I, I went into no, fourth. Go back down to three. There we go. All right. Why is fourth hero point a thing now, Pablo? When did that? It's happen? a for very special occasions. I I broke the system just to get uh somebody a fourth once. I don't remember why though. But thing used to get somebody on webcam. Yeah, I really like webcam, so I might that might that's probably. I believe that could be, I'm, I'm not sure, but I, that's okay. how I It's okay. All right, let's continue with the description here. Um, the day wears on. The planes continue to unfold in a gentle undulations, and the sunlight casts a golden glow. That contrasts with the cold air. Evening brings a deepening chill as the caravan makes camp. 
with the crackling of the campfire and the aroma of cooking meals filling the air. Tents are pinched under a starlit sky, and the sound of the night settle into a peaceful symphony. As you guys wrap up the first day's journey, go ahead and long rest for me if you've used up any resources, please. I can't remember if I have, but I'll do it for you. I know some people have, so go ahead and do that. Oh, oh yeah. Let's see if I have. You know, Kinetics don't even have a daily preparations button. Oh, I removed daily preparations button. Oh. Yeah, it's not useful. Oh. Uh, I'm assuming the persistent damage. I still have my sheet as uh, it's gone, right? Mm, no, you'll take that forever and ever. Oh, and damn, ever. damn. Why is that still on? Jeez. All right. Anyway. Uh, it's from the thing we were fighting in the last session. All good. Oh, I was there. All good, Aroni. That is gone. So, um, continuing onwards for the second day. What? Ball. I'm using ball as your de facto, uh, token yes so um and then i was the first time i fought a duel i was arguing with this boy and you know they didn't like they didn't like how i was you know a lady but i kept fighting and then you know one of them said you know that uh clearly had i been spanked more as a kid i would learn how to behave better and then i told him it shows what you know. Your sister spanked me all last night, and I nah. still behave this bad. <laughs> yeah, that's how I ended up fighting my first duel. That's a pretty oh. good retort. During the second day, <clears throat> um, during like lunch or a little small stoppage. Oh, I forgot the second day's picture. I get a got a picture for every single day, guys. Look, look, day two picture, beautiful. Now there's mountains. It looks like North Dakota. <laughs> so, I don't think I have a proper description of the second day other than this picture, but during the second day, Sakawachi would uh, stop by your group uh, looking nervous at the end of the second, around the time of second day. And she's like, Hey guys, how's Hi. the travel? A little bumpy, but. Uh... We're managing. Boring, really. I'm not a big fan of uh, certain aspects of the accommodations. Helmy says with several side eyes at the horses. Roll me a horse. How, are... <laughs> how are you doing, Sakawachi? Uh, uh, how is this said? You know your thoughts about this whole sacrificing a god and all, all that sort of stuff. That's what I was. You, the horses are. Uh... Don't like you, and you don't like them, Helmy, and it is a good relationship, yes? Skill check horse racist? <clears throat> I won't even ask. <laughs> I don't like horses. <laughs> <laughs> Sakwachi uh, startles as you ask that question. That's actually why I came to talk to you guys. Um, I, I, are you mad at me? Oh, no, no, I, not at all. I just oh. want to make sure that you, look... <laughs> I'll be honest. Being with um, Islos on this journey has taught me a lot about parenting. Um, could say I'm trained in it, trained in it, in fact. Um, and I have it as a law now. That was the that's the point. I'm very happy about that. Um, and I just think that with parenting, uh, you, you know, it's obvious that this whole thing is very important to you from your grammar and stuff, but. Um, Whilst I, I know that your grandma obviously trusted you with this, you, you have your own life and you have your own uh, dreams and stuff. But I, I'd hate to think that you're doing this with any doubts in your mind just because uh, someone who you looked up to told you you have to do it. I, I want to make sure you're making your own decisions here. It wasn't just my grandmother who had that. I mean, I've had dreams since then that right. told me I was on the right path. Which, I do trust my dreams, but I wonder if you trust them. And I wonder if, I, I, I'm not forcing you to do this, am I? Like, are you okay with accompanying me? You um, asked us for help, and, sorry, Boris. Um, no, 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 I, I think, I think, I think, Jordan, you should answer this, because I'm, I, I'm probably not the best one for it. You are a leader, so go for it. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
No, you you asked us for help, and um, you, while your reasons or um, we may not be fully invested in what we're helping you with, but your explanation of why it should be done um, gave us great pause, and it uh, based on what we've seen. Uh, I can't speak for ever, everyone here, but based on what I've seen, um, it's, it doesn't sound as far-fetched as, I mean, I never knew we could go to other planets, you know, and who's to say that, you know, uh, sacrificing a god sounds like a tall order, but um, I've always believed in Sometimes you have to choose a lesser of two evils to prevent a greater evil from coming out. Well, thank you. I do ask that you trust me on this, and I I just feel like I'm, I don't know, I'm imposing or forcing you all, but... No, no, no. It, look, it's less about trust, really. We don't need to necessarily trust you on this. Because I think to, to trust blindly would to be to, you know, not, not think of everything in all angles. And I think that's sort of maybe our job for you is to think about all the different angles going on here. It's, it's kind of like Helmi said. Um, you had a bit of a struggling, a difficult time, didn't you, early on, you know, getting captured and all that bad stuff. And we, we were able to help you out, help you out, help you out with, um, with that and getting your people back, right? Um, and we didn't necessarily trust you or know you that well then. Um, we like you as a person, uh, but Rittleson has sort of brought us together with these marks on us, and you seem to have the same mark too, although I can't remember if that's supposed to be a tattoo or you just woke up with that one day. and You didn't have a missing moment, did no, you now? No, no, my grandmother saw that rune on the... On the on Ina Morin, the the last salmon car, as it flashed at the end of her dream, and she yeah, you see, it upon me. Yes. Yeah, see, you know that that it's that bit right there. Uh, again, as a parent myself, something about you know inscribing a rune on my child just seems a little bit um, crazy. Uh, 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 a different culture than I'm used to. It's meant to be symbolic to keep me steady on the path I'm going on and remind me of the importance of my task, which is to stop a great evil from... Right, right. Stop a great evil from erupting from the ice. Well, we'll certainly be there every step of the way um, to make sure that, you know, you are where you need to be and you find out what you need to find out. And obviously... If it ends up that, you know, um, what you're saying is right and, and your, all your dreams are going to come true and everything and it's the right thing to do, we'll help you with that. If it ends up that you're killing a god for no reason and you're about to destroy the world, you know, we'll, we'll help guide you there too. We are here to support oh, you. Please, if I'm about to destroy the world, I ask that you stop me. I don't want to do that. Right, good. Yes. I had them on the same page. Yeah. I, I like the world. World's pretty good. Don't I'll live here. Right. It'd be a pretty big bummer for me it to too. I think, I think I'm preventing I mean, we, the we know world different from being destroyed. Now. But I don't know. Yeah, but one of them was full of undead, and the other one I got attacked by a giant snail on. True. The snail was uh, pretty. Even with big snails, one had giant snails. I think that'd be terrible for you. That Russell. sounds really cool. I've never seen a giant snail before. But they eat they eat leaves and you're you're like ninety percent leaf. Lots of fair, things eat leaves. They can't. To be eat fair, they also try to tough. eat people. True. Anyway, uh, look, Takawachi, uh, just you know, we're we're coming on with you on this trip, but we're not exactly like uh, Jordan diplomatically said. We're not uh, super invested for the same reasons you are, but we're here and and we we care for you nonetheless. That's. Okay, I wish I could give you a better reason than, oh, Dr. Riddleson told you so, and trust me, mm -hmm. but I generally don't. I mean, maybe saving the world from a great evil? Is that not 
motivation. Hey, if that if that turns out to be true, we're there. Okay. But all all we have to go on are your dreams and the fact that you have the same tattoo that we do, but you don't have a missing moment. So, um, you know. And you, you granny, she, was she alive um three months ago? No. Wait, what? When did she pass away? She's still alive. Oh, right. I mean, I could meet, have you meet her once we're done with this. You know, that might be a good idea, too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She nods. Ha uh, sa sa Sasquatchy? Or, sa uh, Sakuachi. Uh, Saku Sakuachi. How do you sacrifice a god? That's supposed to be like. Impossible, right? I was told I would find out when I got there. And like, who are we sacrificing the god to? Because normally you sacrifice things to a god. So you're sacrificing the god to itself, or is this like another god? Or like, she just starts like kind of panicking. I, from what I remember, it's it's gotta be a I mean, something about sacrifice giving offerings and then giving the i don't know if it was easy sacrificing a god maybe the god is maybe we sacrifice something to the god i, I look I, what i want for you sakawachi is this uh, maybe instead of completing your mission uh, the first step is to work out what the mission is in the first place you know and then we can all be on the same page but, i know your grandma had a lot of faith in you but um i think that smaller steps uh, maybe we don't sacrifice a god right away. We just work out what maybe a sacrifice I can is. Maybe convince a god to join us instead. Sure, you keep your options open. Absolutely. Yeah. She looks cautiously optimistic. Be like Helmy and never tie yourself to one horse. You know what I mean. Why you gotta do me like this? Um, and just saying, you're good at keeping your options open. She will, um, <clears throat> she'll nod vigorously and, uh, keep that in consideration. Or she starts thinking and staring at the sky as you guys ride along the cart for the rest of the day. The horses trot along. Oh, did I show you day two? Yeah, I did show you day two. You all. Can you guys hear me? Yes, we got yep. Chad. Hello. I, I, know you, I know you've been having issues. Everything okay now, Chad? I don't know. I don't know what's what keeps going on. Okay. Both both my computers keep oh. being wonky. So. Okay. Uh, I, I I had a problem a couple of days ago with Discord. Just keep crashing my entire PC. Like everything goes black and then yeah. breaks everything. Yeah, I had that a couple of days ago. Hmm. And and I restarted my computer. Oh, oh, a day went by actually, and I just you know went. Back to a normal. I'm not it just sure. Fix itself. But I, yeah, it just fix yeah, itself. Yeah. I, I, I had to restart it, but you know, it's still happening afterward. I, I turned right. it down like five times. So it just went into itself. I'm not sure what happened, but I had that exact problem a couple of days ago. Right. Well, well, we'll see what happens. Yeah. The morning of the third day greets the caravan with a perceptible change as the rolling plains give way to the looming trees of the Astrovian forest. The landscape transform as the glassy expand is replaced by dense undergrowth, underbrush and towering bare trees. A sense of gloom seems to pervade the forest with twisted branches reaching skyward like skeletal fingers. The sounds of the plains are replaced by the creaking of ancient boughs and the mysterious rustling of hidden creatures. A faint musk of damp earth and rotting wood fills the air as the path winds deeper into the shadowed woodland. Once again, you are welcome to roleplay, although if you guys are tired of that, just let me know and I'll move forward. Well, Russell would be interested uh, looking over at these trees, uh, apparently barren as they are. Can she tell whether or not this is part of their natural cycle or whether something's happened? Roll me a nature check. Mm -hmm. Hey. That is... Perfect. There seems to be a curse here. A long, deep, rooted curse. 
that has transformed this entire forest into a wasteland. Oh no, something's wrong here. This looks bad. Looks like a bog. Somebody did something to the trees. Ah, uh, there's definitely going to be witches here. I can feel it. Uh, is there? So we're riding through this forest, mm -hmm. right? Okay, Russell. Russell will just jump, jump on the ball real quick and roll over to one of the trees. <coughs> mm -hmm. Um, I, I, I don't know how to do like, like magical stuff. Uh, is uh. Based on my critical success, does Russell think that there's anything that she can do for these trees? Unfortunately, Russell, the curse has taken its toll ages and ages ago. It is dead, but still there and standing as nothing has felled the tree as of yet. You walk up to the tree and you sense a Sad lifelessness from within it. Uh, Russell will uh, channel some wood and try to cast a, a, a protector tree into the soil. You Aww. cast a protector tree into the soil. And much to your dismay, a tree does not sprout. Okay, she'll roll back over. Uh, what is it? What was it? Um, the 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 normal looking the person, uh, blue guy. You you're supposed to do magic stuff, right? Jarden, my name is Jarden. Yes. Jarden, Jarden, <laughs> right? Uh, the magic. There's bad bad magic. It's it, it's killing all the trees. And uh, can you fix it? Can can you can you fix it? Um, unfortunately, my magic does not extend into the natural. Uh, realm. I can't do anything with uh, plants or trees. So no, I oh, yeah. don't. You might want to contact a druidic circle. That'd be the uh, only my only su suggestion. I I can't help now, but I've been working on a a ritual that might be able to help. But I'm not powerful enough yet. We'd have to come back later. Ritual. Uh, I don't know what those are, but that sounds good. Can... Okay, so you need to get more powerful. Yeah, uh, I think I need to learn a bit more about, well, is loss and everything that's happened to make them how they are and, well, basically our mission so far. I'm not trying to just move you on, I promise. This isn't me trying to deceive you. I, when we were having the downtime back there, I uh, spoke to one of the druids in town and they imparted a bit of wisdom on me, but I'm just not strong enough or capable enough yet to cast the ritual, so. There's nothing I can do right now, so we'll have to do that. But I'll come back with you for sure, though. This is this is all for what's happened here. And, uh, to finish off, Russell will roll back over and uh, cut, uh, you know, like a hand-sized piece out of one of the dead trees. <laughs> And keep that, and you can make an inventory item if you'd want in your treasures, yeah? If you feel like doing that, add an icon to it. No no bulk, please. Um, the day continues. The pair runs progress is slower now. Marcus, going back, hit him back. Perfect. As the trail becomes narrow and winding, shafts of cold sunlight pierce through the thick canopy. Well, not really, there's no canopy. Uh, casting a dappled pattern on the forest floor. This, ple this place feels off and as you rest for the night you guys are a little more on guard than you were in the plains uh let's check everybody's exploration activities uh if you want to change joe's let me know otherwise russell and rudy let me know what you want for exploration activities if you don't know what those are again i will list the i will list the list and uh we have one search in the party and one recall knowledge and one detect magic. So for the most part, we're covered. You guys can double dip on these if you want. Oh, we got Islo scouting. Yeah. I accidentally deleted my platinum pieces. <laughs> oh, how many did you have? 
Uh, well, it's still registered up top. It's just not in my treasure section. Anymore. No, it's gone. It's deleted. Oh. Oh no, it's on. It's on this backpack. Is... It's on backpack. I'll move it. Yeah. Oh. It was in the backpack. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, it would have been deleted. Yeah. So, it would have been gone. Um. Yeah. Make a new treasure. Uh. Edit the. Uh, edit the icon as well. Or do you want me to edit? For... I'll. I'll grab you the icon because those are. Players can never find icons, and that's okay. I'll teach you guys one day how to find some cool little icons of random shit, yeah? There we go. How does that look like? Yay. Oh, there we go. Um. So, Thank you. you're very welcome. Let's change that bulk to negligible, too, because that's not a lot of stuff. Um. Right. Exploration activities. Russell, Rudy, what are you picking? Uh, uh, I guess I'll go with uh, investigate. Okay. Nature. Uh, you you can investigate his overall recall knowledge button. It's fine. Okay. But uh, and then Rudy, search. Um. I guess so, because I don't have anything else. I guess yeah. Search is search is solid because we only have one person rolling secret. No, I guess I'm gonna do scout. Scout. Do we have scout? We have a scouting. Islos is scouting. Unless you want to okay. change that up, you guys can change it up if you want. No, no, it's fine. Okay. okay. The next day dawns as the forest gets even. Let me find a picture of the forest. Oh shit! I had these reversed. Okay, that's fine. We can say, yeah. <laughs> it starts out a little greenish, and it's more corrupted as you go in. But it's fine. Uh, either way, <clears throat> uh, the next day, though, as you guys continue along the forest path, I'm going to require exploration activities. Um, hey, Secret Perception, Rudy, Cass, Recall Knowledge, Russell, Onovan, Jarden. No magic? Tell me, raise your shield. Set of basic action macros, recall knowledge macro, and let's double check if you guys notice what is about to happen here. No, oh, we won't. Oh, we... Nothing's about to happen, Pablo, because that would be spoilers. True. You could do cover tracks and just like drag a piece of wood behind the <laughs> All right. I don't know what you mean. The, the horse is already made out of wood, so. <laughs> True. <laughs> Unless these horses were made of wood, they didn't <laughs> come this way. <laughs> what are they riding on a sled? Okay. Let's check how quiet these fuckers are. Oh, they're not very quiet at all. Nice. You guys can draw your weapons, and um, <clears throat> uh, as you hear, rawr, rawr. does anybody speak Jotun? <laughs> no. Uh, I thought about learning it, but then I just does anybody. To you know what? Let me reveal the enemies, and oh, I speak Gnomish. That's that's similar, right? Gross. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Actually, let me see the encounter balance here because I don't know if that's. Uh, two... I saw these guys in a war. Easy battle, man. You need to up that by at least right. double. Party size six, party level six. You guys are level six, right? Wait, yeah, I sure hope so. Yeah. Oh, All right, guys. Let's describe this battlefield as the caravan will immediately stop. <clears throat> As they kind of ambush you, the NPCs are going to hide, so we'll move them out of the way, uh, so that there is no issue here. Uh, the next thing I want to reveal to you all, look at me uh, being all prepared today, is your cover and your, uh, I'll delete the real horses thing here. They are real horses, guys. Um, so, here's the deal. As you've gotten enough, enough uh, advanced warning by both Serial and Rudy that you're about to be ambushed. 
I would like you all to um, actually get rid of a peg here. It's fine. I would like you all to do me a favor and A, rearrange yourselves on the left side of your screen. All right. These are 10 feet high. Uh, you can take cover behind them if you'd like. Rearrange yourselves on the left side of the screen. And then we're so going to roll are... initiative as you guys have plenty of advanced warning to set yourselves up. So left side of the caravan, right? Left side of the caravan, please. Put yourselves wherever you think you'd be most fit to be. <laughs> you want to be there, cats? <laughs> people, people will yell at me. <laughs> Roll initiative, guys. Yep. Oh. oh my, what nice, nice. <laughs> I'm uh, missing at all, man. Mm. And nobody coming even close to me. Cass, as two ogres accompanied by giant ass pigs run towards you all what would you like yeah. to do i'm gonna start with the, the new combo i had <clears throat> i don't like that uh, sixth level uh, i haven't used yet mm -hmm. so i'm gonna start uh, first by harmonizing it's by courage and doing a, a lingering composition on it gonna roll me a performance level six yeah. is gonna be a dc <clears throat> No idea. DC 22. Oh, easy. Easy. Damn. All right. Set up Inspire Courage. Put it at three yep. rounds. Nice. All right. And then I'll use my last... Uh, see here. There you go. Three rounds. I'll use my last actions to do. But um, but um, Inspire Defense. <clears throat> you can have both. That's yep. the new thing. Oh, damn. damn. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Three actions to set up, and then there's one action Just to keep inspired. Describe it different. to me. Yeah, you know, I uh, I start, you know, yeah, usually I'm focusing on a, on a tail. I'm focusing on either being a, you know, or the offense or the defense. Now I started weaving the two stories together, describing both offense and defense, giving you the effects of both at the same time. Beautiful cast. I love it. Yeah. Onovan. I assume instead of I assume the only option was to draw a weapon. You have drawn like weapons. Thing. You have drawn weapons. Right. I just don't have any weapons. But that's fine. Uh I will. Uh, uh, I will boost his loss. Ooh, okay. Ooh. Yeah, I'll I'll do boost I along with extend boost. Um so that'll be on there and then I need to roll a nature check. <clears throat> I need to turn this music off, I can't think. Turn it. Okay, I'll switch it. I actually don't like this very much. Well, hold on. It's almost over. You can do whatever you want. All right. That's a 25. Mm -hmm. So that'd be three yeah. set, rounds of set that. Set up on the effects tab. Yep. Perfect. And then I will also, uh, please, like, otherwise I'll move somewhere else because I'm confused. Okay. I'll end Venom Companion. Shabloop. And she didn't seem to cast, even though I pressed cast. My spell slots aren't being taken out. Mm. Um, but now I have a Venom Companion. Ra is not scary. That didn't, that didn't work. Did you drag it on I though? That's weird. I tried to. Let me, you might have to refresh. I okay. Oh, you got it. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and what is control click change to three for the thing? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then. Islos gets a go, <coughs> and Islos will just move 
forward mm-hmm. here. 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 Mm-hmm. There we go. And that's the end of his loss's turn. And mine. Russell. Do you... Okay, you end turn. Okay, cool. Okay, so can Ball more or less easily jump between the gap between these? There's plenty dragons? of gaps here. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, exactly. Okay, so I'm going to spend one action to channel elements. Is, uh, Russell kind of punches her hands together and uh, leaves start to whirl around her. Mm-hmm. And I guess I can make a blast as part of that, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> so I am going to do a... Uh, Over to target. A, a piercing, uh, propulsive uh, wood blast as Russell creates a wooden spear in her hand mm-hmm. and hooks <clears throat> it. Uh, I don't know how to change damage types, but that's okay. uh, I think I got some damage types in there. Didn't I not? Yeah, the normal ones. But uh, Oh, you want piercing. Um, that's fine. We'll apply piercing. I don't think they're resistant to anything, so, or weak to anything, so we'll just do damage. Piercing damage, and that's fine. I mean, attack roll? Oh, I'm gonna hero point that. Okay. It's like it never happened. There we go. Roll me damage. That is correct, right? 2d8? Plus inspire courage. Uh, also uh, plus one from uh, propulsive. Perfect. That's and, one action. Okay. So that's one action. Uh, I'm going to command ball. Mm-hmm. Who's going to make a quick leap over here? Nice. Right there. And make a swing. Give it a shot. <clears throat> I don't know, Onovan. Maybe you'll have to refresh. Have you refreshed? You're, I see one out of two on your third level. Okay, I'll refresh. <clears throat> Solid damage. You are mounted, and... so it does get an MAP. Just a heads up. What does? The ball. Mounted companions right. get an MAP. So that does that would be a twenty one. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, okay. I yeah. see. Still okay. hits. That hits? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And uh for her last action, uh Russell is going to uh clap her hands together. Some of the leaves will poof into pieces of wood that stick to her and become armor. Change your token and set up. Go to your inventory where it's hardwood armor. Equip that and equip the coach, the sh- the, the armor cloak. Yeah. And it should be automated, or I did set it up for you. Don't forget to invest in it. And is that AC okay? No, it's not 17. Let me figure this out here. Oh, it's because it's medium. Let me change that to light. There we go. 25. Is that okay? Double check your armor and path so. builder if it's not okay. Yeah. So that's your turn, Russell. Tell me. Uh, well, tell me is going to run over in between. No, in between, not in between. Here. Mm-hmm. And it's going to attempt to knock down this. Piggy, piggy, piggy. So we'll start with the strike. Natural four. 
Go ahead, because you're a fucking fighter. Roll me damage. Oh, it's ridiculous. And then roll me in athletics. Fighters OP. Scree. Basic action macro strip, please. That is also a success. It lands prone, Helmy. And that's my turn. Solid turn. This bad boy is going to retreat, taking an attack of opportunity from Helmy. Yeah, most assuredly will. Uh, won't it take one from Islas as well? Does Islas have opportunity attack now? Yep. Awesome. Do the thing. Uh, I don't think I've got reach actually yet. Hold on. No, I don't. Sorry, I didn't target it. Okay, let me double check a thing. Is reach part of your vine? No, it's a. Uh... No, yeah, it's this. Yeah. Okay. So... Next level, like at reach. All right, help me. I think that's a crit. Roll me critical. Oh my gosh! <sighs> and you hit it. It'll char. Also... Yeah. Disrupt its motion because I'm a fighter. No, oh no, my gosh. That's okay. That's only for manipulate. It's only for manipulate. Just... Yeah, yeah. So it is off guard. And then mm -hmm. it'll rush straight at you. So I think it's mm -hmm. it's got enough movement because it's gonna use data on charge. Um so yes. it's gonna strike stride twice, and I think it only moved. Yeah, move 40 and 40, that's fine. Just so two actions for it to do that. We're gonna charge mm -hmm. at you with a tusk attack. You're rolling a five, of course, missing. It screeches, charges at you, dodge out of the way, and then it will MAP with its last action. Missing as well. This thing will stand up, and I'm not going to move its token, but it's going to do the same thing. Move back and move forward. Two actions and charge at you. You can take an entire opportunity, but you, you already used your reaction. Another fucking five! That's its turn. This thing will spend two actions running around and charge straight as it slows. Charging. Right. Way. There we go. But when it when it moves to attack me because I don't have reach yet, I don't get an attack of opportunity. You do yet. not, no. Doing okay. 15 damage on Onovan, and then it will MAP one more time on Islos, missing with a natural one. All right, and the so now it dies. Do you have an opportunity attack for natural ones there? No, I want to though. Can I? Can I? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Russell, I'm assuming you don't have AOOs. Uh, nope. Okay, it's gonna move and charge, but it's dumb, so it's gonna charge straight at Ball. It also did bite him, so we're gonna go ahead and charge at Ball here and roll a strike. For 15 damage on ball. And then it'll MAP at ball. Without date on charge. Probably missing. Nope, I hit it. Damn, son. I should not call my shots ball. Does ball make any noise? Uh, no. Uh, notably, ball, ball makes ball. no noises. Well, you can Other tell he's in the pain. rumbling when he rolls around. You can tell he might be in pain. The ogre warrior will shift... Hmm... Oh no. Oh no. Ogre Warrior. Fine. Two actions to get here. <laughs> Rudy. Oh, okay. <laughs> So, um, okay, first off, Rudy is going to start with general elements. So you see uh, the rocks around starting, uh, uh, like circulating around him. And you see some, some of the rocks just uh, getting attached to his body and forming an armor. He's going to also use a... Uh, as part, of, as part of the channel elements, I'm going to use this uh, mm -hmm. Equip your armor in your inventory and change your token, please. Yep. So that's it for this first thing. Um, 
Oh. Token change is awesome. Nice. And uh, then... I wasn't able to see Russell's, but... <laughs> oh, I can see it now. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. And then I think I'm going to do this. Uh, what's called? Uh, Saints Sand Nature. Nature. <clears throat> So I have this sand around this. Um, um, okay, let me find bar uh, here. Oh man! Start moving, let and me... then just like a hand comes and try to grab it. Let me put a sand sentry or something. There we go. That's good enough. Um, yes. There we go, and we're gonna try to grapple. What is this grapple? Uses your impulse attack roll. Roll me an impulse attack roll, please, on the deodon. Impulse attack arrow, where is it? It's just the normal strike on your magic there. Elemental blast, bludgeoning or something, if you want to do that. Yeah. Uh okay. And your spells there. <clears throat> oh, oh no oh. way. <laughs> okay. Uh... All right. That would be against it's a Athletics DC, so it's a twenty-three against mm. a. Yeah, that'll grapple him. He's grabbed. <clears throat> oh, not prone. Grabbed. Sorry. Uh, and then um, that's two actions. You will have to sustain this. Yes. Yes. So, and that's all three, I think. Yes. 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 All right, Jordan. What you doing? Okay, Jordan is going to use one action. To move down here. Oops. Come on. Move. Why am I? Oh, okay. There we go. Go over here. And I'm going to. I have reach on my weapon, so I'm going to go ahead and do a spell strike. Perfect. And we're going to see how this goes. This is the first time using this one. Sorry, I said nice. Holy shit. Um, so I would like the wave to go in this in um, this general direction. Like Hopefully that? missing Helmy. And hitting this guy up here. Oh, I if see. If possible. Let me see. Like this, you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yep. To hit all four all four of them. Yep. Jeez, dude. <clears throat> Expansive spell strike is awesome. Yeah, what's what's the downside? Am I right? Am I right? All right, roll me damage. <clears throat> it's a crit too, so it's what does a crit do on this? Is it a one one degree of success less or what? Uh, let's see. Um, on yeah, let me look on. Uh, expand crashing wave. Um, Where's your no, expansive spell strike? Level two. It's a basic. Uh, it's a basic save. So yeah, it'll do double damage, right? If it could. Um. um uh, hold on. <clears throat> If the spell has an area, the target must be in the area, burst the center in the corner of the target square or the square. The spell affects all creatures in the area as normal, but the strike still targets only one, one creature. So, so the hit only hits the first one, but the wave, the wave crashes over all four of them. I see. I don't know if so, it's a crit, though. It's just a crit on the first guy. So you're saying it doesn't affect the Daedalon for this one, yeah? Oh, it it does. It'll it'll affect all four of them. The wave will crash through all four, all four. They'll, of them. they'll they'll have to save like normal. Okay, but yeah. it's it's not going to be. Hold on. Expense. The forty damage is only for the the, the oh, one okay. he had. So not the wave then. Uh, yeah, I don't think the wave would. is not critical. Yeah, the wave is not critical. Uh, they'll roll oh, the normal it, normal normal reflex. Save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have to have to roll like normal for the area. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yes, so. so the, the, the Different forty opinion. damage. The forty damage will hit this one. Okay, that's the, and then the that's ogre my... warrior and the Daedalon uh, will take uh, uh, twenty six. Let's do that. Well, that one's dead. 
Where? Oh no, it's not dead. It's gonna use ferocity. Hmm. And stay up using burning its reaction and becoming wounded one. Damn, that's strong. That's that's no cooldown on that. Yeah. Uh, this one will take half, and this one will take half as well. No, wait. Yes. No. Where is it? So this one will take forty from the from yeah, the. I've, I've, nice I've, I've, I've applied the forty. Okay. Yeah, and then these two will take and... half of the the water damage. So half mm -hmm. and half. There we go. And he also takes the wave. Yeah, I did do the wave. Yes, he took half okay. of it. Is he succeeded? Right. Yeah, yeah. So, gotcha. all okay. good. He takes a lot of flipping damage. My goodness, my Jarden. Good turn. The Ogre Warrior is not happy with this. So he's going to run up to you, Jarden. Uh, does he have reach? Please tell me he has reach. Yay! <laughs> he does have reach. I'll strike Jarden. With reach <laughs> and miss. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that one hits for a whole 11 damage. You're <laughs> fine. All right, back to the top of the round, Cass. You have yep. lingering on Inspire. I do, yeah, but I'm recasting uh, defense. Okay, do you harmonize with that, or do you not need to do that anymore? I I, I harmonize with my um, Inspire. Okay, so you don't need to click on Harmonize anymore. You're good. I just, it. yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I need to only need to do it on one of them. Okay. And one of them is considered harmonized until okay. it runs out. Perfect. Uh, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a, a good old classic uh, cast. Threatening approach. Mm. It's uh what time is lacking for me right now, sorry. I'll remove some effects here. There we go. Right. No, it's just, just the, only the only the ruler that was bad. Approach on that one. Go ahead and uh demoralize for me. Got uh, it. Uh, that's a scary list. Oh wait, they don't speak your language. Who's gonna buy shadow? Uh, yeah. Scary list admits me. Ah, oh. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna help with that. <laughs> Not so scary lizard, it seems. <laughs> ah! That's a success. Oh, it's a success. Oh, damn. A natural that's a, two. It's a fucking success. Two. That's amazing. Yes. That's ridiculous. Nice. Yeah. Frightened two. Amazing. Scary lizard. Is that your turn? Yeah. But that is my turn. That's reactions. On a van. On a van's gonna follow up and strike that scared ogre. Not liking, uh, well, Islas is not liking it being near Helmy. It's not being at Helmy, but sure. That's a crit. Critical hit. Oh! 42 points of damage. <laughs> <laughs> is it clumsy or something? I don't remember. Yeah, it becomes clumsy now. All right. <gasps> uh... And then Islas will also reach out and get the one to the top north of Helmy mm -hmm. uh, through the MAP. Da, 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 da. It's dead. Oh, nice. Uh, and then... I don't need to burn another level 3 spell slot, do I? We're probably fine. Um... I'm going to be cheap though, and can I even climb on any of this? Uh, you would be a climb skill check or a leap, a high jump. It's a 10 feet up, so however you can get 10 feet up there, you know? Okay. Uh, Onovan will just move the doctor's visitation and heal myself a little bit. Okay. You still have one action, um, right? I do, yeah. Try. I was going to summon a seaweed lushy, but I don't think we need it. One of those die no. in the ground. Nope. Okay. I double checked it. I don't think so. I double checked it. Mm -hmm. When they die, if the seaweed dies, ooh. Fuck assurance. Wow. Yep. Fuck assurance. <clears throat> uh, 
And then, you know what? I will MEP minus 10. Why not? Let's go for it. I'm feeling, feeling lucky. Come on. Nah, that's fine. Okay. Uh, oh, I should have just stepped. Oh, well, whatever. That's fine. Yep. Russell. Did you say the Odor Warrior to the north of Helmy is dead? No. No, no, no. The, oh, okay. the Deodon is dead. Okay. Russell's going to concentrate for a second. Think real hard about Cass, Helmy, and Islos. Uh, to cast her... Uh, it's not there. To do pacifying infusion. Uh, followed by... Hail of Splinters. <laughs> That's sick. 30 foot cone? Like this, maybe? Yeah, just so it gets everything. Except the allies, of course. Right. Yeah. Ha ha ha! You notice this is cheating, guys. I'm gonna ban all yeah, really good. Doesn't do It doesn't do allies? What the hell? Uh, not with safe. Uh, elements. That's so good. Alright, failure on the Ogre Warrior, only the damage. Uh, it's a level plus two, so whatever the, um... <clears throat> you're level six, uh, 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 so level yeah, so, three, three... So 3d4 four. piercing, 3d4 bleeding. Plus one. Plus one. Okay, and then roll me 3d4... <clears throat> I'm gonna add eight persistent man. I can't wait till they automate this shit, but let's add eight persistent damage on the ogre. Golly G. Golly G As Willikers. <clears throat> with both of her hands extended and Russell shoots a hail of splinters that pierces everything except well, when it starts to reach Helmy or Cass. Uh the splinters just kind of puff into a you know, like a little spray of flowers. Which bounce harmlessly off. Ah. Oh. I and that's my turn. love it, Russell. Hell me. Hell me, confused as to why she's not impaled, <laughs> will uh, take out her confusion on some of the uh, nearby assailants. Good uh, job, Hell me. We'll start with the ogre. And we'll just take a regular ass swing at that. Damn. Nine is a critical hit. <laughs> that is a critical hit. Roll me critical. <laughs> Jesus. Wow. Yeah, he's dead. And uh, nice. then Helmy will turn to the south and will attempt to knock down the Deodon. Mm. Imagine using a focus spell and level three spell to do like just a bit more damage than Helmy does just with a sword. Yeah, you know, I'll a king of single target damage. Batty. I will hero point that. You're going to hero point it. I got hero points. <laughs> You've got hero points because you role play really well. <clears throat> Fuck fighters, man. Yeah. They also, they're also they also going to be banned. Will me critical. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, oh, he's still uh, standing. Roll me a knockdown. Or, uh, athletics, please. And uh, that will be at the same multiple attack penalty, so... Keno prone. Um, I will keep that failure. Okay, that's your turn. Tell me, the Deodon is wounded. He's not going to bother charging. He's just going to go ahead and... Uh, oinky, oinky, trip three times... Or attack three times. Yeah, trip three times, my ass. Uh, Does he take the damage at the start of the round? Which damage? Bleed damage? Did, did this, guy, this guy didn't take any bleed. It's the ogre. No, it's the ogre. Your thirty oh. foot cone. Yeah, I'm already far. dead. Your your thirty foot cone. Ah, wait, did I miss two? No, that? It, it did. Miss, yeah, it miss, did. and critical miss. Wow. Did that's, it? That's thirty did feet. Did it do that? Let me see here. It depends on how you. Oh, it depends on how you did it. Let's see. You could have done it this way. Yeah. I believe that would 
that was all right all right so helmy would have made it relentless effectively because it would have taken what seven damage so it would have been at one hp use its reaction and uh being wounded one as it's it uses uh relentless endurance whatever the fuck it's called uh ferocity and then at the end of its turn it's going to take bleed damage missing helmy thrice it's going to use its reaction again to go to wounded two Wait, it only gets one reaction. It gets a new reaction. Start of turn, it, gets it, back. it gets a new reaction at the start of its turn. When wow. you when when Helmy hit it and killed it, so we're gonna retcon yeah. you doing damage. So when Helmy hit it and kill it, it uses reaction and it's gonna use this reaction again at the end of its turn. Uh so still barely standard wounded two, but there you have it. I would have expected not, not this to be pedantic, be... but the one next to me should have been hit too. It currently succeeded. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one did. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh I gotta say, I would have expected a boar like this to be better at multi-tusking. <laughs> wow. wow. Get That's it a villain out. point. That's a villain no. point. Uh, uh, yeah. Thank you. So let's, let's take a break. Yay, let's take a break. villain <laughs> point. Yay. I, I, you know, I appreciate that. Thank you, Chad. Uh, I didn't... <laughs> the day don't... Bad, can, I, can I attack the sand sentry, or is that not a thing I can do, Rudy? The what? The 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 sand guy. What did you cost? Uh, what's it called? What's sand the thing? Uh, sand, sand snatcher. snatcher. Can I attack the sand snatcher? Mm, uh, he provides flank, but I don't know. He provides flanking. Oh shit! Yes. Can it I can attack the sand snatcher? I don't think I can. I'm gonna waste the boar's action attacking the sand sentry as it dissolves into sand. And comes back again as it realizes its mistake it's still grabbed nice. by it so it's going to turn around and thrust on islos um twice with map wow. damn that's a right in front of hell me ain't nobody gets to trust on islos without <laughs> sand to, and i'm hoping she gives that to me at some point okay so these data lawns are disappointing <laughs> me um but i'm gonna go ahead and charge on uh on this time on rudy or not rudy Shit. Leafy. No, not Leafy. Fuck. Russell. Russell. Leafy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it, it's okay, what? Pablo. It is two whole syllables. <laughs> oh, my I goodness. I hate my rolls. Why? Gosh. This is wild. Bonus. You need to go on vacation more often. Your, your rolls are rubbing out on Pablo. Yeah. Rudy, what are you doing? Wow. Uh, so I'll sustain my sense nature so he can uh... continue the grapple. You don't. You need to. Yeah. Do you need to make another? Yeah. It's not an. Uh, it's not an enemy grab. So you need to roll another grapple check or attack roll or whatever it is to continue the grab. Yeah. Okay. I'll do that then. Um, so let me roll something here. Uh, It's against its at uh at fortitude DC. That is a success. That'll do it. Okay, so it's grapple, and then I'm going to use two actions to burning jet. I'm going to Iron Man and move in a straight line here. And my aura, my aura is chemistry. Oh, it's actually 60 feet because you're level 6. Yeah. So I will then stop here then. You can choose can. to leap. Well, it depends. Is it a straight line? Yeah. So you can leap 40 or um, so you could go there or you can straight line 60. But there is an enemy in the way. So it's either here if you really want to get that far or where you are. Yeah. Mm, then I'll hear then if it's fine. You leap in the air <gasps> above the carts and land <laughs> in front of the ogre. And that's my turn. That and is... my aura, also my aura comes yeah, Yes. Yes. And that's it. Jordan. Jordan is going to on the ogre. 
going to use this here. I'm going to intimidating strike. Um, Uh, that is a hit, not a crit. Yep. And do damage. Um, Let's see here. You did it on the ogre. Yep, 19. Yep. And he has frightened one. Indeed. And then... Mm, oh, let's have some fun. Let's... Uh, Let's go ahead and MAP minus five. We'll go ahead and trip or try to trip him. Sure. You're just bullying these poor orders, guys. Just bullying. Yeah, man. Okay. We need a challenge, man. That. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't say that too loud, Cass. Bring us a god, Pablo. <laughs> so he is now prone, and that is my turn. Excellent. He's frightened, prone, and. And it's his turn now. Oh boy, he's gonna stand up. Attack of opportunity. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> make sure I make sure I target him. That is a critical hit. You smack him right in the fucking face. As he, <laughs> yeah. All right, that's a great. We do great, MLA. Great round, Cass. Yeah, man. Can you guess what I'm doing? I don't know. What are you doing? Being cool as fuck, boy. And I will, uh, yeah, I'll continue doing my uh, Inspire Defense once again. Mm -hmm. Let's see here. Let's see here. Which one do I want? I'm trying to use my new magic item. Ooh. I'm gonna, you know, take my hands, you know, and point my uh, my entire fist towards her. Uh, this one right here. Okay. As I use my ring of the ram, as it needs me to make it this fortitude save. Uh, who did you target? Let me see here. Uh, this one. one. Yeah, I got it. Hey, I what finally bitch. succeeded on something. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Click on the ring of the ram for right. I want to see the full yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, he has the damage and is pushed five feet no, backwards. He's just dead, dude. Oh, he's just that nice. Well, it's half, right? Yep. Basic, right? It's yeah, half. The, uh, and it's not basic, but it's basic damage. Yeah, yeah. He's he's uh he's dead. Yep. As it gets, yeah, he's yeah, no. Imperial ram just yeah. flies out of my fist into its face. Sexy. That's one action. Yeah. Huh. That's two actions. I did two action. Kind of overkill, but sure. What's your... I was. I wanted to be cool. I, I did re it's by courage again. <laughs> okay, perfect. Or inspire defense. I don't know. Whatever one. It's by, it's by, yeah. sorry, it's by defense. Onovan. Okay. Onovan's gonna slap this ball. Who likes Phoenix Wright, guys? Come on. It's a banger. No? I do enjoy Phoenix Wright. Uh, am I, am I, am <laughs> Says I, am I, am the lawyer. <laughs> oh, amazing. Uh. I'll go here, Onovan. I'm going to be the worst, and I'm going to do Electric Arc. Onovan. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to make it difficult. You're in behind You're behind a crate, he gets standard cover from your Electric Arc. There we go. Let me like make it difficult. Fuck does he? <laughs> like, fuck does he? He gets lesser at the very least. The very least. There's people in front of you. Uh there's people uh, in front I'm, of standing, I'm sitting on the thing, on the like hook thing, whatever. Uh huh, uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm, didn't save him. I... Oh, oh, is he dead? No, he's at 1 HP. I got fucked. <laughs> Are you <laughs> fucking kidding me? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that's <clears throat> one action, two uh, His loss is going to, uh, move on up, and then attack. Mm. It's a smash. 
Hopefully. A lot. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, son. All right, he's still standing. What? Oh, he's clumsy. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if that would have been massive damage, which is not, it would have killed them. But it's okay. Okay, what do you mean that's not massive damage? Can we let's unpack that? He had twenty-one uh, HP. Yeah. Anyway, all right. On a f <laughs> you need eighty, which you could theoretically do. Actually, shit, that's almost okay. Maybe not. All right. What are you doing, Russell? Kill this thing. Sure, sure. Uh, I do got to regather up some elements, so I'm gonna do that. And then I'm going to uh, I'm going to do a melee hit. Duh. As part Just of that. Just killing Islos's 58 damage steal here. Steal kill. I can use it. Should I be doing 4d8 instead of 3d8? Makes a hammer out of wood and beats it upside the head. You should probably roll an attack roll. Oh, yeah. Can't I just do 16 damage because you like me, Pablo? Damn it! Pablo, what? Should I be doing forty-eight instead of three D eight? For what? Is loss. Why? And venom is one D eight. Boost Eidolon is another D eight, isn't it, or not? I don't no, know. Boost Eidolon is just boost more Eidolon. damage. It's not a. It's it's. Oh uh, yeah 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 yeah. There we go. He's dead. There. <laughs> Beat him upside the head, and then taking the shattered stump of that hammer. Uh, I'll pull it back like an arrow as a bow forms. Uh, a short bow, because that's propulsive, right? And then I'm going to attack the other one. Well, I mean, attack roll. Don't bother rolling damage because he's at cool. 1 HP. If he had hits, he's relentless or whatever. Yep, you hit. He's going to go. remain standing. Do you have one more action or is that over? Um. Oh, that was supposed to be MAP too, huh? It still hits, yeah. Uh, I do have one more action, huh? Uh, but it's probably not going to hit. Go for gold. Yeah, sure. I'll uh, I'll knock another one. Mm, nope. No way, Jose. But that's okay. Help me. What are you doing? Uh, well, we've got one living boar, right? So what Helmy is going to do is. Yes, your damage is very good. Thank you. I just yeah. need the validation. Uh, I'm going to move to flank this boar. And then I'm going to hit this boar. Okay. Oh, and that's the encounter. I'm not going to bother for the roll here. It's fucking hell me. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait. I, I targeted that shit. Oh, no. I, 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 ended the, I ended the encounter right as you as you hit. It's fine. That's a critical. Roll me the critical damage here. This boar is eliminated out of existence with a whole 26, Helmy. That's actually pretty crappy for a crit. What the fuck? I'm disappointed. This slows is better than you. That's a good thing, though. Well, you know, wait, yeah, wait, why are you wait, saying wait, that as wait. a surprise? <laughs> yeah, it was. Hi, boys. Uh, we'll wow. Run. Oh, sorry. We'll, uh, we'll continue the session after my break. Yes, standard break time. That's for sure. Twenty. Uh, can, yeah, yeah. can you let me know what time we're planning on ending today? I have some friends who want to hang out at four, and I was Your wondering. Friends. <laughs> wow. I was... Get him back. All right. You're. We're, let's welcome back everybody. The boars and the ogres have been defeated. The NPCs come out of the woodwork. Oh, that was. That looked like an effortless fight for you all. And uh, what's his name? The halfling. Oh, thanks for defending the caravan. That's what I hired you for anyway, right? You hired us? Kind of. <laughs> no, we hired, we hired you. Yeah, hey, I didn't charge you extra for coming along, did I? I thought you did. You charged us extra for... I charged you early. extra for leaving early, but that's, that's a different supply and demand issue. And if we were to leave you to get eaten by ogres next time, what kind of supply and demand issue would that be? Awesome. Uh, we could supply you to the ogres when they demand you. Listen, I'm tracking you along with an extra fee because you're defending this caravan, right? At the end of the day. 
So ignoring that 30 gold that was for leaving a week early to make up for some supplies, you're traveling here for free. Am I right or am I wrong? Eh. Yeah? Mm. And you do your part. I mean, you... And you did do your part. And I'm really happy you did your part. And I appreciate you doing your part. Okay. Okay. All right, then. Just So we've done our part now. So if it happens again, we'll be renegotiating. That's what we're saying, right? Good. Okay. I'm glad we've established that. Oh. All right. Everybody heal up to full and long rest. Remember, that's the encounter for the day. Don't, uh, we're not going to treat wounds. I know you're excited about using your new kineticist abilities, guys. But let's... Let's... Uh... I want to make fruit and feed it to people, Pablo. That's why I made this character. That's the only thing I'm here for. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. is Ball okay, Russell? It's kind of hard to tell. Uh, it, he's, he's fine. <laughs> I think. Yeah. I mean, I don't know. It's he's just plants, right? And as long I mean, as I give him more plants, he's 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 okay. At this point, uh, you know, large collection of my friend group and, you know, confidants are plants. So just, there's no such thing as just plants. What? Hmm. Well, I mean, sure, I, I guess, but no, he's okay. What about, uh, what, what about your plant? Is, is he a... He's uh, he's pretty good at smashing things. My plan. Oh, it's us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that that's um my daughter. Uh, she's not Helmi's. Well, not yet. Helmi's not asked me yet. So. You know, I'm I'm real interested in her, but let's let's be honest. The marriage is probably a little bit away from me for now. You know, I'm just 25. Uh, we've not even been on like date yet. Uh, uh, Aha, uh, though, uh, Russell, uh, I'm Islos. I, I do speak, unlike your ball there. Uh, no, you can't talk. Are you sure? Maybe he just doesn't like us very much? Well, I'm pretty sure. Uh, he hasn't if talked I could... ever since he came out of the portal with us. If I could speak with uh, plants, would I be able to speak with ball? I don't know. Right, I've okay. Tried it. I, I'll try and work on that. Uh, be nice to speak, speak to plants. another plant. I mean, realistically, uh, I'm speaking with plants right now. You know, help me. I like your perspective on things. You've always got a, a good head on your shoulders. Don't, don't give them that, is lost. No. That, that. You're so easily won over. I can. I was talking to Islas about it before. I, I can't write now, but I could. I, I could try and work on it. Oh, oh. And uh, <laughs> Russell will snap her fingers and, like, uh, you know, like a sizable little piece of firewood will just kind of pop into existence. She'll hand it out like, can, what is this one saying? Wait, firewood? Yeah, just oh, like no, a log. I, I'd have to speak with Zed and speak with plants at the same time to talk to that one. Otherwise, you'd probably be saying, please don't set me on fire, oh. which would be a real shame because that's probably what we're going to do. <laughs> Russell will think for a second and she'll take the log and she'll jam it into the ground and cast a protector tree there. Ooh. What does this one say? <laughs> Sorry, do you have to speak with plants or am I mistaken here? I don't think uh, it bonus? has speak no. with plants yet. Oh, no, I don't. Okay. Not yet. All right, all right. Because, uh, 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 sorry, I was a little distracted, but I'm assuming... Then you don't have to You don't have to role play okay. ball, don't thanks, worry. Okay, thanks, thanks. Uh, or the We're or just the passing plan. time for you until you level us up, don't worry. Go <laughs> <laughs> along resting. <laughs> uh, yeah, you are long resting and... You, are you speaking with the plants or not? No. Okay, then Ball doesn't say anything, right? Correct. I mean, oh, okay. we're, ta well, we're talking to the plants, but the plants ain't talking back. Okay, all right. <laughs> you, you did get me pretty excited there. Um, okay. 
So, I mean, I didn't think that plants could, you know. I well, mean, I some... guess I'm kind of a plant, but not like a plant plant. You know what I mean? Like, they don't really talk. Well, someday I'm pretty sure Onovan's going to be big and strong enough, well, maybe just strong enough, to uh, talk to plants. But right now I don't think that's quite in the cards. Are you going to get any taller, Onovan? Uh, no. I, I'm, that, I'm... That's okay, I'm short too. No, I guess no, short for I... me is different from short for I'm so sorry. I don't... Aren't you like, you'd be short, like taller than me? I, I'm quite I'm quite an average height for my people. Yeah, that ain't, that ain't that hard to be taller than you, buddy. No, I know. But you know, somebody's got to be the smallest, and uh, I, I, I'm happy it's me. Because Helmy, I, I think you'd have a complex about it, if not, you know? Wait, how tall is Onovan? Uh, Onovan it is. <laughs> I had to write it down, so uh, I am quite tall. Uh, three foot two. Okay, you are slightly shorter than Russell. Yeah. No, it's, uh, Russell, you, you still have got some growing to do, don't you? I have no idea. I used to be a lot bigger. Uh, I do remember that. Uh, yeah. Are you half so... your size now? Probably. Do you and Rooty share like, memories? And I mean, as far as I know, Ball used to be part of us too, so... Yeah. yeah it's a tree. Ball? Does that mean you lost your balls? Oh my god. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's... Can I burn this guy? He's pissing me off. Mm. Um, well, that I hate no me. guy. <laughs> Helmy has feathers. She, she'll she get set on fire really easily. I, I, I'd i watch out for, uh, around fire with that. I mean, it's but... not a guy. Oh, it's me? No. The one with, your, with your, a lot of eyes. Well, oh, no, that's yeah, Helmy, yeah. No, I she, do have a lot of eyes, yeah. She's got feathers, yeah. She'll feathers burn really too. easily. So it's it's a female. Uh, well, uh, yeah. I, I certainly you know think so. Yeah. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Can can you tell also if it's a male or female? I don't know. What's the difference? I'm still trying to work that out myself, uh, Rudy. Uh, uh, gender is a strange thing that the the flesh folk have uh, constructed for themselves. Um, it's a lot yeah, easier, yeah, easier plant world. Yeah, exactly. I, I know. Well, every uh, hey, it works for them. Whenever I threatened to pollinate myself, I, I was told I'd go blind. <laughs> Is that true? I don't think so. Else I'd probably be blind. <laughs> wow, what's that ahead? The caravan's been moving guys this whole time. continue onwards. <laughs> As the dawn breaks on the fifth day, the caravan emerges from the shadowy embrace of the forest into the stark terrain of craggy badlands. Nice. This is the view that comes into play as you leave the forest. The dense canopy has given way to jagged cliffs and deep ravines, the path becoming even more uneven and unchallenging. The air is dry, carrying with a dusty scent of rock and mineral. Sharp contrasts of light and shadow dance across the landscape, highlighting the raw, unyielding beauty of this place. You continue onwards on your journey, and as you are getting closer to the Socorro Scars, Memories must be jolted for some of you people. Audubon, consider this an automatic success. I would even say uh, either that or critical success. I will say, you know what? I will give you one degree higher on this. All right. So you just have to succeed. On oh, this. so failure. Okay. Got you yeah. could you could have been your memory could have been jol jolted. I will. I won't. You won't critically fail, but. Let's see here. Uh, where what are... role do you want? Hold on. Let me find... Everybody, though, is going to roll me a... If I can find this button here. <clears throat> That's the wrong book. All right. Let's find... Uh, 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 Final Days in a Gay Day. Sakura Scar. Recall Knowledge. I need people to hit this, this, or this. 
Oh, everybody hit um, one button, please. Can you can you make these without the add on from the adventure? Like, yeah, do you have an add on that you just do? Okay, this the, is the adventure. We workshop you can has a make this. Light. Oh, the workshop has which one does it? Oh, sorry. Uh, Pathfinder 2 we uh, workbench has a script for it. It's called custom skills, I believe. Okay, okay. Custom saves and skill checks. It's like a um, like a skill mm -hmm. as an icon. I've used that a lot when I run. Okay, remi uh, you'll have to show me how that works. Anyway, uh, yep. we've got... um, The only one that succeeds is Onovan. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Hit, hit the button, everybody. Unless you don't think there your you character go. will hit that button. Uh, there we go. Cass, you remember a little bit about the Sarkora Scar. Onovan, ironically... Hello. um, I, I crit fail. You crit fail, but I'm going to give you a success anyway, because I don't, think, oh I don't think I don't think you would have <laughs> forgotten. Literally, I'm so... <sighs> uh, really critical failure, Jarden failure, Hell me critical failure. Uh, are you going to hit a wrestle or no? I think Russell's AFK. That's fine. Yeah, it's AFK. Okay, that's fine. So, for um, let's give it here. Let's see. Uh, Cass, you know what, Onovan? Hmm. I'm gonna give you not the part that's super relevant to this AP. I'm gonna give you the part that you don't know that's relevant to this AP, and I'll give Cass the relevant. Uh, just okay, Cass and. Yeah. Jarden, or uh, sorry, and Donovan. The Sarkoris Scar is all that remains of old Sarkoris. Once this vast land was a verdant sprawl of plains tended by societies of Druidic natives called Sarkorians. Cass, you remember specifically many of these societies worship living gods under the oversight of god callers, leader who would curry favor with the region's powerful spirits guides. Cass and Onovan, when demon worshippers opened a rift to the abyss in Sarkoris heartlands, everything changed. The world wound and the demons that poured from it literally tore the land apart. So the only part that uh, that uh, Onovan doesn't remember, and it makes sense based on his questions so far, is the living gods on the oversight of god color. So Kaz does recall that. Everybody else, you would know, at least tell me, and Rudy... You know that the Sakura Scar is flourishing. The soils are enriched, and it's an a land of fake tricksters and fruitful pastures. And everybody else doesn't know anything at all. So yeah, good uh, to plant some potatoes. <laughs> so, uh, Cass and Onovan. Also, Onovan, though, I will give you one extra thing because you were from here. Uh, 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 uh. there's. When the world wound was sealed just a few years ago, it seems for the first time in generations that the land may once again be free of demons due to your part in that as well. Oh, so that's the information. What do you guys talk about? Cass, would you like to relay what you know of the Circle Scar to the party? Yeah, yeah, I'll definitely. Yeah. I'll, I'll right. actually even paste it in. Um, <clears throat> In notes Sunday here. Yay! The oh, the part that's uh, that's italicized, uh, which I'll do that now. Uh, <laughs> Anno doesn't know. Anno, though, you do know. I'm gonna go ahead and um, <clears throat> put the critical success stuff. I'm gonna spoiler the stuff that you guys don't know at all. You can, as players, if you feel like it, you know, maybe, maybe cheat. Onovan, you, know, Onovan, you know this, yeah, yeah, you know that critical. Another crit bit. You know the crit bit without the spoiler, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, when we came here, the um, Sakorians gave us a, a lot of help trying to improve our um, practices on healing people. They they called upon uh, nature spirits, but I don't. I, I've always been trying to work out how they did this. I'd I'd like to tap into that magic myself, you know. <clears throat> Excuse me. Well, it seems to me like you already did a good job with Islos, but if you want to, you know, learn more about where Islos came from, you know, this I suppose this is kind of, you know, their heritage too. Yeah, well, exactly. 
Uh, it's good, it's like a father daughter trip. Out to like save the world. I feel like I used to go on a bunch of those before my dad passed away. I don't know why it's all fuzzy now. I don't like this place. Nothing grows here. It's it getting a bit desperate. better, but it's, uh, it'll take time. Yeah, it's a lot better than what it used to be from what I heard from the stories. <clears throat> Ain't what stories? haven't tried to eat us yet. Or, you know, no, I... to... Why would a god choose to live here? Well, some gods are assholes. One might even say most of the gods is assholes. Whether there even is a god of assholes. It's like a god for everything. You think, like, are we talking about, like, you know what? I think I'll just leave, leave that lie. Let's, uh, let's keep going to this cadaver's place. All right. Day six. Finds the caravan entrenched in the heart of the Crag and Badlands. A landscape that seems to grow more unyielding with each passing minute. In fact, the terrain starts changing slightly, shifting, getting a little more ominous and dark. Jarden, you start detecting magic. Although, let's see here. What level is your detect magic? <laughs> Third. You learn the school Third. of magic. It's not really a school, but it is slightly corrupted, tainted, demonic. <clears throat> demonic. Something about this land's making my, my feathers itch. <clears throat> you continue uh, forward. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I'll, uh, I'll kind of per I'll perk up and say, hey, you know, I'm kind of sensing, sensing kind of a, an aura being emitted, kind of a, a very... Very dark, very negative. Um, it's getting stronger the further we go. Let me meet Jeb Eggs again this morning. Oh. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding with you. The helmet looks very <laughs> sulky. No, 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 no. Don't put that face. No, I, I just have well, a bit of fun with you. It's not just you. This this land, something about it putting my feathers on end. My my wings keep flapping. I don't know why. It don't <clears throat> don't feel right to me. I know we all kind of feel it, but I feel it's especially bad for some reason. Oh, out of character. I'm assuming because you know Helmy's part celestial that they you know in mm -hmm. infernal wasteland it feels a little bit you know. <clears throat> I would like the party. To no. what? Nothing. What'd you say? As no. you guys <laughs> rest <clears throat> for the night. Uh oh. Did it move you? I can't see. I'm blind. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <clears throat> I would like each one of you to select your sleeping spot. For no reason whatsoever. Nothing ominous about this, guys. Hey. <laughs> oh. Hey. <laughs> this, is tent. this is mine. <laughs> so Ball will kind of uh, Thank you. lash his tendrils to the treetops and hang down like a big hammock, and that's where Russell is released. Mm. Put yourself on top of uh, that, please, as a five me, foot. Maybe you and I should take the uh, bigger tent and uh, keep watch uh, if we can. So uh, the, the, usually um, watch is, I was going to talk about watch, but one of the people in the group will be keeping watch. There's always going to be one person on watch the entire time, all right? Uh, I'm assuming you guys are sh organizing watch in a matter that would have one person. Yeah, God, you're kind of cramping my style here. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being, sorry. I'm <laughs> being too, too much, but, uh... I think you're. I think you're 
one of the smartest people I've ever met is Los. That sounds like a great idea. Hey, it's <laughs> Los, where are you? You're not coming in. I, I, I was just going to help uh, help me here. Keep watch for a little bit. Okay, that's fine. Uh, just a side note, by the way, guys. Um, uh, I don't like being called God as a joke in, in TTRPGs. DM is fine. Okay. Would appreciate it. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, it's okay. It's okay. No, nope, people don't know uh, until it comes up. Then it gets awkward. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm playing. And ready. This... Sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. This place is terrible. Why did we leave the island to come here? I thought we were going to find out what was going on with, you know, us. Rudy? Oh, mm -hmm. you're feeling grumpy right now. That's fine. Uh, uh, uh yeah. Well, uh, let me sleep, so... Okay, well... I mean, okay, I mean, I don't know. I, I'm very confused. Those people, they, they seem... They seem even lost, I mean, more lost than us. I mean, I don't, they, they don't know what to do. They always asking what should be, what we should do and the fates, I don't know. Uh, well, I'm I very confused. Either, so. I mean, I know what to do. I want to punch that guy in the face that tricked us and made us move to another place. Which one? You know, that guy, that trick us, made us move to another place. Oh. You know, I hadn't thought about him in a while. Yeah, that brick. I went to burn him. Hmm. You know, Rudy, is it getting harder to remember the things that we did before we split up? Oh, no. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. It's fuzzy. It's probably maybe, maybe once we are back together, maybe we can remember everything. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Hey, do you want to sleep up here? This place is kind of cold. Yeah, 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 yeah. I need the party to roll me a button that I will post in chat, please. Uh, one at a time. Starting from Helmy and ending with Russell. Cass. Oh. Me now, yes, it's me now. Yeah, sorry, that was no one at a time, no, otherwise, it breaks. Rudy, yep, are you saying I'm a god? Uh... It's close. You are keeping watch with Helmy a little too intently there, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's the results of your rolls. That's the bad news. Here's the worst news. I'm going to roll a 1d6. If I roll a 3, it's going to land on Cass. Otherwise, everybody will be surprised. <laughs> ah! That's his way. Onovan. Kill Cass. Aww. You're the only one that can keep their armor on. Everybody else, go to your inventory, remove your armor. I'm assuming you don't sleep in your armor, unless it's comfortable, light clothing. Like, yeah. that is comfortable. Russell can. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think Rudy might be able to as well, potentially. Yeah, yeah, but it's hides. Funny hides. Mm, double check here, because it is leather. So why is Russell on the... Wait, Russell, how come you... Can... Oh, it's... No, no, sorry, it's leather. It's leather. Yeah. It's not uh, it, does it have... You've got an armored coat, Russell. It's got comfort. Uh, you don't. Comfort and yeah, you don't have comfort, so you would be sleeping with your armor off, Rudy. Everybody, unequip your armor. Let me know if it gives you it if it gets you encumbered, which it did. Help me, help me. Let me let me fix that for you here. Wait, did you remove it? 
Oh, it's in your backpack. Mm, no, it's just in your okay. backpack. Just let, let me just make the carried bulk negligible so it doesn't. Um, dropping doesn't work actually. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't work. That remove. It doesn't remove the bulk. No. So I'm just gonna make it a negligible bulk while it's on the ground. Yeah. All right, is everybody but Onovan removed their armor? And any it's, comfort. All so right. I I can't rest in my armor. Yeah, uh, and comfort. Sorry. Yes. So everybody but okay. Onovan and Comfort remove their armor. Perfect. Onovan, you're keeping watch at this point in time. Where would you place yourself, not in your tent? Uh, oh my gosh. Um, Onovan would just be, I guess, by the fire. <laughs> not keeping a great watch, it seems. Nope. <clears throat> Leaping. And thus, when you all roll initiative right now, you will roll them with a minus four circumstance penalty prone and no weapons drawn. So this is going to be a little bit tricky, but I need you to, when you're rolling initiative, put a minus four circumstance penalty. I'm going to prone you all as well. Now, everybody prone yourselves. I just right-click on the effects tab and add prone to yourselves, please. <clears throat> Rudy, add prone to yourself. Uh, Islos, would it also be? Prone? Yeah, on that. Yeah. Struggling to do the alphabet. There you go. I got Rudy here. You're both on the ball, right? I'm assuming. Let's go. Okay. Now go ahead and roll initiative with a minus four circumstance penalty as your surprise. Uh, sorry, Onovan, you're the only one that wouldn't be prone. You would be standing, I'm assuming, during watch, yes? Okay. Yep. You also wouldn't get a minus yeah. four circumstance penalty, Onovan. Now that I think about it, so oh, yeah, so you can add a yeah, okay. I never, I never did it. Okay, Jordan, I'll reduce your thing by four. Don't worry, man. I'm fucking fast as fuck. I don't know how to add circumstance. Uh, when it click, when you click on the roll initiative button, you can click on, you can add a little modifier there. Um, Jordan, you are seventeen. It should be able to add a modifier there, and if not, okay, perfect. And help me, uh, try to, if you can roll initiative, that would be amazing. My apologies. Uh, minus four. Oh, shit, I didn't roll stealth for it. Stealth for its initiative. <clears throat> All right. There we go. So, <clears throat> here's the deal. Onovan, it is a dark, chill night. You're meant to be keeping watch. What are you doing? You could describe me what you're doing as you're staring to the fire. Why would you not? notice something creep on by just uh he's he's taking his guilty pleasure in uh trying to uh roast different vegetables uh and make something like the s'mores that they used to have uh like when they were fighting the crusade hmm. trying to do a vegan version of that Okay. It's a side project. That's okay. That's okay. You are unaware as something rustles up to Cass's tent. It rolled first in initiative, so I'm going to do this in terms of a thematic, but also three actions thing. As it rustles up to Cass's tent. Uh -huh. Cass, you wake up to an evil, foul breath. As you open your eyes, you see a long, slithering tongue, a pair of bestial horns, and a toothy maw 
that reaches down and bites. Its first action is to move, its second action is to bite. Let's go ahead and do a jaw attack here. This will be a secret roll. But let's that's oh. fine. 16, part of that is evil damage. I think you're neutral, Cass. No, you are good. No, I'm good. You're I'm good. good. I'm you're good neutral person. good as it reaches down and you move at the very last second. And it doesn't get your throat, only does 16 damage. And then as you... Do, what do you do? What do you do, Cass? Just all, uh... As in, f no, flavor-wise, no. you shout you shout out, alert the party, what do you do? Yeah, you know, I shout out, you know, I look around, seeing, uh, seeing, trying to see what is trying to kill me, you know? Cass, you peer closer. And as this thing does its final action, oh, with its sure. claw attack, you dodge back quickly, but it's too late. That does hit Cass for another 25 damage. Damage. That's damage for sure. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you seen one of these before? I don't think so. Cool. Cass. In this campaign. What would you like to do? At the Am start I of wearing... your turn. Are you wearing what, sorry? My ring. Uh, that's... Technically, I'm okay with you still have. Mm, would you be worrying when you go to sleep? Do you wear your ring just in case? Yeah, I don't see why not. I don't see why not either. You're an adventurer. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. as long as it's not uncomfortable. Yeah. At the start of your turn, though, I yeah. would like you to roll me. Oh, no, it's at the end of your turn. Sorry. That's fine. That's fine. Don't worry about it. You, All right. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right. I will uh, I'll free action my ring then. Okay. Go ahead. I'll roll a fortitude save for this thing. Come on, crit fail. What's the ring? A ring of the ram. Oh, so it's just good enough. And it does half of this damage. So 10 damage. Okay. And it's pushed uh, seven and a half feet, five feet away. As you push it backwards, Cass, it howls. And at this point, anybody who's not awake is definitely awake. Uh, Cass, at the end of your turn, I need you to hit that button. Did I? Uh, I you deleted, I deleted it again. It. Yeah, that's my bad. Let's hit that button here. All right. Okay. <laughs> you feel like your energy is being drained from you, but you manage. Onovan. You have your weapon in your hand. Uh, well, no, your weapon's not in your hand, but you're not prone. and It doesn't matter about the weapon. You're not prone and you're not uh, surprised. So what are you doing, Onovan? Okay. I can't, I can't even see this thing. It's like over here. Is that, is that the only one is that, that I see? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Onovan is going to... And we're at full spells and stuff, aren't we? You have so... not long rested... But you have long rest of the day before, and there was no encounter, so you should be at long rest. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, I'm going to summon a seaweed leshy. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and manually drag that in, because my summoning summons broke. So let's do that. Seaweed leshy. I'll drag that on here. I'm going to give you control of the seaweed leshy there. Um, bonus, and I'm going to drag it on the board. I'm assuming 30 feet right there. No, I don't want it next to it because okay. it's got range. Where do you want to put it? There? Uh, just you can move it. You can move it. It's yours. It's yours. Uh, oh, it's bugged now for me. <laughs> I'll have to reload. Anyway, um, and then do I get a turn with it? You get two actions with it immediately. I get two actions with it. It's going to... Um, Use its ranged water jet, uh, and do you want me to do it? Or should I do it? Uh, I can do it. Oh, sorry. I'll just come back in. Oh, okay. I think I repeated the same question twice, but yeah. 
Sorry, just about to load. That's a no. Tell me, do you mind putting that in general, Sunday? Ah, uh, yeah, that's yeah, my apologies. All good. Okay. Uh, oh god, it's a creature stat thing. Low. That's that one. Uh, it all. That's a miss. Whoa, that's scary. Uh, it's going to like. Uh, I'm gonna try and work out what this thing is. Can it do a recall knowledge? Uh, can it speak? Yeah, it can. It can attempt to recall knowledge. Um, roll me a religion with it. If it doesn't have religion, just roll me a 1d20 in case you crit. Yeah? Nope. Friend? Monkey? Um, Who knows? And then Islos will just get up from being prone. So that is the activity. act together. That's correct. In the summon and Islos. That's... Wait, I thought act together only worked with two action things. Or can it work with three action things as well? No, it does. It specifically doesn't do two and two. It just does it's like three and one, one and three. I see. You can do that. One, okay, two, okay. one. All right, all right. Yeah, Double fine. checking. All good. Rudy, you wake up with a start and you see this thing screeching in front of you. Would you like to stand up as your first act? <sighs> Yeah, uh, I don't like people waking me up. I'm going to very mm -mm. angry. Sorry, sorry, sorry to interrupt. Sorry to interrupt. I need the seaweed leshy and Onovan to hit this button as well, please. At the oh, end, God. yeah. Oh no. The seaweed less she is drained one. Sorry, continue, Rudy. You wake me up. I'm pissed. And he's going to channel animals and fire bursts from his eyes and stones as he also uh, put uh, creates his armor. Okay, go ahead and uh, do that for me. And I'm going to do something new. I'm going to do this level up. I'm going to jump and here and or here you can jump 15 i'm assuming with that wait with lava leap okay one act wait you stood up with one action though rudy so oh yeah 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 yes yeah, right, true, 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 true. so not do that then i'm going to so i have one action so i'm going to throw him a elemental blast sorry elemental. sorry sorry one action to get up one action to use armor and earth and uh no no as part of my gather element i can use uh yeah yeah so but, you, armor, but yeah. that's you only have one action left unless you want to stay you have yeah. yeah so you're back there yeah yeah so i'm going to use my elemental blast to one action perfect give it a shot no uh, ranged Nice! Oh. Roll me damage, I'll double it. It's 12 damage. Well done. Yep. That's your turn, Rudy. Jarden. Okay, I'm going to one action stand up. Mm -hmm. Oops, I turned that off by accident. Um, what's that? Okay, um, and then are these actually tents or are these just like bed rolls? These are, it's up, I mean, it's not, I'm going to say they are tents because the guy brought tents, but it's not like, yeah, yeah, let's say they're tents because that makes, that's the most, makes more sense, so. Okay, so I'm going to stand up, hop, you know, and come out of the tent at the same time. Yeah. And then see what's going on, and I'm going to use... Of this here you notice the creature and, howling oh 
I keep forgetting this. Guys, remind me. I'm so sorry. Rudy, hit this button at the end, at the end of your turn, please. Okay, you're fine. Go ahead, Jordan. Okay. That's... I'm going to go above or go around the tents. Yeah, you can sudden charge up. whenever you wherever you want to end up. You've got plenty of movement. Yeah. I will end up there. Mm -hmm. And as part of that, I will make a swing. It catches and it with its hand. Just I am stab. going to mm -hmm. arrow point that. Okay. That's a little better. As it breaks through his arm and deals 16 damage. That's your three actions. I would like you to roll this button for me. Success. Helmy. Uh, Helmy is now going to wake up in a bit of a mad panic. Uh, first thing Helmy is going to do is stand up. Mm -hmm. Um, guys, I am so sorry. Uh, I'm not going to retcon Jarden's thing, but remember, your weapons are on the floor next to you. You're going to spend an action. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not going to retcon Jarden. It's way too fast for that, but uh, is that fair? I don't know. Let's let's just... Uh, yeah. Helmy will take an action to grab her weapon, yeah. being a proper open Viking. She had her shield. Yeah, that's fine. You can. You, I also allow one action to both weapon and shield grab if you were to put that on the ground. So that's good. Yeah, all good. And uh, in her most sensible nightwear is going to take her last action to run out 25 feet. Hit this button. The fortitude button? Yeah. You feel fine. Russell. All right. Do I need to stand? That's the question. Prone doesn't. Minus your penalty to attack rolls. Ah, uh, okay. Up to you, though. Anything else really cool that I want to do? I want to be cool. Okay, uh, Russell's going to stand up. Okay. She's going to channel elements uh, and not make a strike as. No, wait. Is she? Yeah, she will. Okay. As she calls forth a spear of wood uh, that has flowers and plants and stuff growing around it, and this is going to be a thrown weapon ranged attack that does vitality damage. Okay. That is bludgeoning. You have a vitality version, I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I'm doing melee because this is a, a thrown weapon through weapon special through weapon infusion. Okay. Uh, what's the range on the thrown weapon? If you don't mind me asking, twenty. 20 feet. Okay, then that's perfect. Just a straight attack roll, I think. Yeah. I've got a hero point. Okay. Unfortunately, Not so. it will miss. All right. Uh, I'll try again. Give it a shot. Not your Darn. day. Hit this button. Is ball mature? Yeah. He gets a free uh, movement if he wishes. Oh, yeah. Uh... Because we're both standing on him, so I guess I'll just stay where he is. Mm -hmm. I would allow you to roll away and Marcus stay, like, fall on the ground if you want to do that. Well, Pablo, I'm a little sad that you didn't put it like, well, has ball dropped yet? <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Oh, I got a I got a villain point earlier. I'm happy with that. 
<laughs> okay, move right, yourself as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, I would drop off of it. Oh, I see. I see. Got it, got it, got it. That's my turn. Okay. The Nabasu will turn and look at Russell. Russell, at the end of your turn, you felt your life essence draining away from you. What I would like you to do is roll me another one of these as he uses his first action to consume death. All right, you are unaffected as he screeches in dismay. It is concentrate divine, no manipulate. Seeing a fluffy warrior running up front, it will go ahead and strike at Helmy with its second action. Helmy, you are making quite an imposing physique, especially with your feathers everywhere, right? Well, I got my feathers covered this time for the most part. I'm, you know, bare armed, but you can. I got the right to bare arms. Mm hmm. Uh, it is going to snap at you. And yeah, that'll help. Jaw you for 32. Uh, you can use reactive shield, it's telling me, if you wanted to get that up there, but that's up to you. I believe I could. Uh, I. Yeah, uh, it, it wasn't a crit. Uh, the only reason I'd use it is if it made a difference for hitting or critting. That's absolutely fine and a solid way of doing this. It's then going to... <clears throat> also, if it moves, I'm going to whack it. Yeah, I'm thinking if it would move. Uh, I don't know if it has a really legit reason to. Other than to maybe grab Cass and finish him off. Uh, but would it do that with an active, you know, fighter up front is what I'm trying to see here. How smart is it or not? Yeah, it is not stupid. So I'm going to claw at Helmy. Yeah, that makes sense. For another 24. Andy. Cass. Yeah, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fuck those things up. No, I cast slow on it. Okay. It's one going to succeed yeah. as ah. it is slowed one for one round. Wait, that's still a good trade. Two of mine for one of it, so that's pretty good. What? And... You are prone. I am probably going to stand up as my last action. All right, that's your turn, Cass. Onovan. Oh, uh, sorry. I'll stay in uh, with Onovan. I, oh. I keep forgetting this. Uh, remind me, guys. Uh, everybody can you oh, yeah, keep yeah. Rolling, rolling this fortitude save. Yeah. So. Yes, of course. No problem. Okay. Oh, I'm going to hear upon that. You can if you'd like. Yeah, I will. Your voice says no problemo, but your rolls say it's all problemo. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's a success. Sorry, Onovan, go ahead. Uh, just want to check something. No, that's for Doomed. Damn it. I thought Vivacious Name stopped Reigns, not Doomed. Uh, um, uh, doo -doo -doo. Uh, Onovan's going to sustain his, his action on the plant. Uh, he's also going to boost is loss as part of sustaining the plant we'll get two actions if you want to do those now yeah yeah i'll just do the boost first mm -hmm. if that's all right mm -hmm. uh, i will roll uh, nature dc 22 you mean no keep your focus point Okay, so that's one action, two actions to sustain, three actions for Islos to move, and four for Islos to hit. Okay, that hits. That's a hit. So, 
solid 17. Uh, and then the Leshy is going to attack. Oh, my God. Um, and it will try and recall knowledge again. 1d20. What's another action I could do with it? Um, you could help flank, which is already done. Uh, you could uh, help an e help a friend to give them a plus one or plus two to their attack rolls. Um, okay, I think that makes sense. And that's in my turn. All right, let's roll those forty-two saves for all three of you guys, please. Jesus. Actually, no. The less she's fine. You're drained. One. Don't worry about. What it. does drain do? Uh, it reduces your HP and fortitude save. Okay. And then Islos succeeds. So Islos is fine. That's your turn, Onovan. Rudy. Yes. Is Marcus AFK? I think he is. Rudy. You know what? That's fine. Uh, we're going to stop at this point. I was thinking of stopping, but we need to stop at the end of the hour for multiple people. So, um, yep, that's fine. so we're going to go ahead and stop y'all and uh, we'll resume this battle starting from Rudy's turn next week. Yes. So thank you guys for okay. watching on YouTube and thank you guys for playing. Let's stop recording here. Thank you.